First call, class two, Hereford Heifers. First call, class two, Hereford Heifers. A reminder to all exhibitors, all heifers at today's shows must weigh in before the show. And also there are no aerosol cans permitted in the makeup arena. First call, class four, shorthorn heifers. First call, class four, shorthorn heifers. At this time, we'd like to introduce today's Hereford judge, Mr. Chad Holtkamp. Chad is the owner-operator of Holtkamp Cattle Company in West Point, Iowa. Chad and his wife, Kim, began Holtkamp Cattle Company as a first-generation operation in 1988. With the start of four cows, Holtkamp Cattle Company now consists of a full-time cattle operation. Champions have been originated from HCC at the national and state levels. Cattle are marketed through multiple sales throughout the year with an emphasis on purebred cattle as well as club calves. Chad has judged numerous livestock shows throughout the U.S., including events such as the North American in Louisville, the American Royal, the Fort Worth Stock Show, and the Denver North National Western. Chad earned his animal science degree from Oklahoma State University in Stillwater, Oklahoma, and his associate's degree from Black Hawk East College in Kiwani, Illinois. Recently, Chad was inducted into the Black Hawk East Livestock Hall of Fame. He was a member of the National Champion Livestock Judging Teams for both Black Hawk East and Oklahoma State University. Chad and his wife, Kim, have two sons, Skylar and Dakota. Ladies and gentlemen, help me in welcoming Mr. Chad Holtkamp to the Green Chips. And your judge over on the shorthorn side is Mr. Zach Butler. He is from Milton, Tennessee, where he owns and operates Butler Creek Farms, where he raises Gelvy, Ballinger, and Angus cattle, along with his wife, Autumn, and two girls, Henley and Emery, and his parents, Michael and Barbie. He is a graduate of Black Hawk East in Oklahoma State, where he was a part of the judging teams at both school. He judged many shows, state and nationwide. Could you please join me in giving Mr. Zach Butler a round of applause? Second call, class two, Hereford Heifers. Second call, class two, Hereford Heifers. Well, good morning. It's uh, certainly an honor and a pleasure to be here with you, uh, and it's always exciting uh, to come to the North American and, and be on the green shavings, and uh, I can hang my hat and say that uh, I was able to sort the, the, the first class of the day here this week in 2022, 
uh, with a snowstorm as we got going on outside. Uh, certainly a little change of pace from back home when we left on Thursday. It was about 78, and uh, uh, but that's, that's kind of the weather pattern we're dealing with these days. But an awesome first class here, uh, good, four good females. I'm going to go ahead and start with this young lady's heifer. Uh, to me, she's just the most balanced female that we've got out here, I think, from a, a structural standpoint. She's the most correct on her corners. She's not the stoutest or the widest one out here, but she's the best one. She's good and correct in her angles and in her lines, really feminine in her body shape and her look up front as well. The young lady's Roan Heifer that's going to come to her uh, next in line. Standing still, I think she rivals her. She's bold. She's got some spring of ribs. She's got some foot and some bone there underneath her. You know, in relation to that class winner, she's maybe not quite as correct in the angle and slope to her shoulder. I like to pick her pins up there just a little bit from behind. But I like her added body and rib over the heifer that's coming out here in third. The young lady's black heifer in third, really sharp and attractive up front. For me, she gets just a little racy, a little more tubular in her body shape and pattern for me out here today. But I still like the style and the balance and the look in that female. The red heifer we're going to conclude with, I think one that gives you a nice look. She's attractive enough in terms of her angles and flexibility. There's just not enough power and mass in this one to get her over those other three females. But a good way to start off the day. Congratulations. And placings for class one are as followed. First place goes to entry number eight, Soul Primo Ladies 2K, 25K ET, exhibited by Carly Goats from Oak Harbor, Ohio. That will also be your automatic late spring heifer calf champion. Second place in class one and automatic reserve spring heifer calf champion goes to entry number three, T2 Dream Believer, exhibited by Toby Brenz from Sheffield, Illinois. Third place in class one goes to entry number nine, TSSC Crystal Summer 2063 KET, exhibited by Lily Miles from Morgantown, Indiana. Fourth place in class one goes to entry number two, Powers Red Mattis, exhibited by Caitlin Powers from Selman, Indiana. Now entering the ring in your Shorthorn Plus show is class number four. We do need class five in the makeup ring. Again, we need class five Shorthorn Plus females in the makeup ring. Third and final call, class two, Hereford females. Third and final call, class two, Hereford females to the Bank of Arena. Hereford entry number 23 to the Makeup Arena. Hereford entry number 23 to the Makeup Arena. As we go ahead and just pull this one out right around here. But uh, Hereford exhibitors, uh, sure my honor and privilege to be here on the green chips and evaluate your cattle here today. And, you know, we start off on just a tremendous class here to go through and sort in the calf uh, division. And, you know, I think quality is still kind of the premium as we look through and sort them and in the light cattle as we go through on the day that, you know, they're going to have a little substance, have a little bit to them. And I think this heifer here, when she gets relaxed and shows off for this young lady. She's got quite a lot to her. She's still really good looking. Uh, she's stout in terms of structure, got a little bit of muscle. I know on paper she probably has a little more birth weight that I think we can manage that from a sire side standpoint. But I think she's just got so much just natural doability shape and yet still a very, very attractive package. I think that's a very nice heifer and very comfortable place for me to go ahead and start with. The heifer in second uh, gives up a little bit more in, in terms of size and weight. She's younger in the class, but still in a set of maize. But to me, I, I just like her center body. I think she's true in terms of her rib shape. I think she's flat about her shoulder. 
Uh, she really gets out of her shoulder in terms of reach, laid back in terms of her angles, uh, and gets out there and goes really well. I like some things about her. I like her completeness. I think that's a very good female. Heifer in third, got a little bit more size than the one right behind her, but uh, you know, one I thought maintained her top line extremely well, especially we put her in motion. She's flat about her shoulder, feminine in terms of her makeup and design. You know, these cattle at this age, we'd maybe like to give her just a little bit more to her, a little bit more muscle, a little more width. Uh, but, you know, it's got to be a little careful in the calf division that we don't have to have to power them up or change them too much. The big growthy heifer, that's the heaviest in terms of weight per day of age and, and growth in the class is a heifer here that lands up in the, in the fourth spot. I like her in terms of her broodiness and squareness, but for her body mass and her quickness to her maturity, I just didn't know if she was as stout at the ground and, and matched up quite as well uh, as some of the cattle right there ahead of her, ahead of them. Uh, young ladies have her coming out next. I think beautiful in terms of her pattern, long bodied, good down her top. She does a lot of those things really well. She's a little more dried out in her rib where maybe she came to town and didn't get filled up quite as well. I think as she comes up and, and matures or gives a little bit more uh, dimension to her body is going to make her just a nickel more competitive as she gets out down the road, but it's still a very, very high quality heifer. Next heifer, very green in terms of her shape, but I thought she was a little truer in terms of her body, had some muscle, still had some cleanness to her front and a good female. Next heifer round out to class, still has quality. She's really well presented to me, just a little bit too tapered in terms of her rear rib and flank for her to compete any higher for me here today. But what a great way to start your Hereford show with a nice set of heifer calves. Back over here in the plus ring, a good pair of them here on the top end. And uh, within that pair, just some slight differences. I'm going to go ahead and run with this young lady's uh, heifer here up front. I think it starts at the ground with a little extra foot size, a little extra bone. She's a female that, to me, is a little softer and bigger bodied in her rib cage. I think you get in behind these cattle as well, and, and there's just a little more width and a little more power in this one, a little more width through the base of that chest floor as she gets out and goes. Is she maybe as sleek and attractive up through the front end as a heifer in second? Probably not. I'd like to just maybe refine her head and throat there just a little bit out here today, but that one opens up into a really big, massive rib cage, one that I like a, a great deal. The young ladies have for here in second. Uh, one is probably a little more immature, and I don't mind that. Really attractive, really sharp looking up front. For me, there's times she maybe gets a little more forward in the angle to that shoulder. And again, just not as bold sprung and opened up through the center part of her skeleton. But that one's got a lot of future ahead of her as well. Nice female. The red heifer that's going to come uh, here next in line, I think just had a, 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 a good top pair to compete against, and it kind of worked her to third because there's some things to like in her. I think she's wide made. She's stout when you get in behind her. She's got a good look up front compared to those other two females. Probably not as comfortable and flexible as she gets out on the go, but still a solid heifer there in that third hole. And then our own female that we're going to round out the class with, as powerful and big-footed as any of them. With that, though, for me, she's just not really my kind. And she's a little too round, a little too coarse structure to get up any higher. But a good class. Congratulations. First call in class three, Hereford Heifers. First call in class three, Hereford Heifers. Entry number 29 to the makeup arena, please. Results of class number one of your Hereford show in first place, entry number 10, CFCC Mia, exhibited by Delaney Trudenbach of Knightstown, Indiana. In second place, entry number three, Dietzman Kit, 21K, exhibited by Lane Hoffey of Warsaw, Indiana. In third place, Riley Rhodes. Fourth place, Brogan Brunt. Fifth place, Michaela Donkery. In sixth place, Ross Heinet. And in seventh place, Harrison Roberts. And over in your Shorthorn Plus female show, entries for class four are as followed. First place in class four goes to entry number 13, TSSC Keep Dreaming 2129KET, exhibited by Elena Lucy Glenn from Glen Easton, West Virginia. Second place goes to entry number 10, HHCC Sweet Dreams Reward. 210K, exhibited by Kaylee Hickerson from Charlo, Montana. Third place goes to entry number 15, TKA Delilah 06K, exhibited by Piper Campbell from Eaton, Ohio. And in fourth, fourth place in class four goes to entry number 14, D 
Dyer, exhibited by Kendall Eaton from uh, Martinsville, Indiana. Now entering the ring is Class 5. Again, now in the ring is Class 5 over in your Shorthorn Plus female show. These heifers range from dates of April 4th to April 3rd of 2022. We do need Class 6 in the makeup ring. Again, Class 6 Shorthorn Plus females in the makeup ring. Second call in class three, Hereford females. Second call in class three, Hereford females. Third and final call, class three, Hereford Heifers. Once again, third and final call, class three, Hereford Heifers.
Second call for class six, six short horn plus females in the makeup ring. Again, second call for class six. As we work our way again, uh, the second class of Herford heifers, really a nice set of heifers and, uh, you know, get working through them and, and get to flow here kind of, of the ring of where we're after and what we're, uh, what we're looking for a little bit. But uh, Heifer to me just does some things there kind of to a high degree in terms of just boldness, still completeness. She's got a look of quality, uh, one that's really well presented. I think she numbers up pretty good for her CHB number. Uh, comparatively, just a, just a good, complete kind of heifer. Uh, you like I like really well. Uh, heifer here in second, she too is I think just a really nice built heifer. Doesn't have the power of her class winner, but I thought she maintained her balance really well. I like the way she's made out there through her hip. She's deep and good in, in terms of her side, good in terms of her rear hock. I'd like to give her just a little more flexibility kind of out there, out of her front end, but I like her just her smoothness and her maternal look that, that, that she does she does give us. Uh, the young man's heifer coming out here next, a little bit longer modded, more extended female, really laid in about her shoulder, blends from her shoulder to her forerib uh, exceptionally well. Uh, I like those things about her. There's times I think she just gets a little bit straighter up front underneath herself, just a little bit more in terms of structure, uh, but I think she's just so flat, so smooth made, uh, and just puts a lot of those things together extremely well. Next heifer coming out that's just so easy to look at and soft in terms of her structure, soft in terms of her body. I'd like to give her a little more width and power. She's one of the ones that uh, uh, doesn't have the numbers to, to indicate some genetics uh, to see where we're at there, but I like her smoothness and in, in her center body I think is extremely good. Uh, just a nice attractive kind of a female just that we might power up just a little bit. Young man's heifer comes out here next, and she's got some things I like about her. She's green, but she's also young from a maturity standpoint. She's long in terms of her, her head, neck, uh, front end area. She's got some length of body. Uh, to me, I think she fights a halter a little bit, wants to get a little far forward in terms of her shoulder. And I've got to give her just a little bit more natural rib shape, a little, natural, little more natural dimension uh, for her to power up just a little bit more. But I like some pieces she has on her, and I think as a big senior yearling, that one could sure have some look and in, in, in appeal to her. Next heifer, long bodied, got some attractiveness. I like her foot and bone. I uh, just felt that she, the way she blended up high would change her a little bit from her hooks to her pins out there through her hip just a little bit more. Young ladies heifer coming out next, very attractive, very muscular heifer, gives up a little bit in terms of weight per day of age. Next heifer is very smooth made. I like her flexibility, just kind of give her a little bit more dimension. Uh, the next two cattle I think have some, some quality and kind. Uh, we just got to just give them a little bit more to balance up for them to be more competitive. Back over in our Shorthorn Plus ring, I tell you what, maybe uh, as, as competitive a class as what we've had so far, just all the way through, all five of these heifers have got a lot of things that you like and you appreciate about, and as we go to start to line them up, I, I think for me, this young lady's heifer that wins, I think does a lot of really, really good things uh, in terms of length of body, in terms of structural soundness and collectiveness there as she gets out and goes. I think she excels the class in those regards. She's bold sprung in her rib cage. Uh, and compared to the heifer in second, she just moves better out of that front end. She's set back a little better in the point of that shoulder and the angle to her knee. Uh, really a youthful female as well uh, in this particular class, one that I like a great deal. Young man's heifer here in second. Uh, I like this heifer from her shoulders back. She's got some body. She's soft in her look. She's youthful up through her head and neck. Uh, there's just times that she just gets a little straighter shouldered and kind of wants to toe out there a little bit up front. I think fix her off of that front one-third of that skeleton. It gets pretty close there on the top end. The big body, big footed ones, a young man's heifer coming here in third. And, man, there's a lot to like, and it's a shame that I had to run her down to there. For me, though, she runs a little bit downhill. She's a little earlier, mature, a little quicker in her maturity pattern, a little shorter there from knee to ground. Maybe just don't read the the future in this female, but I'll tell you what, she's going to be a lot of fun this fall uh, to, to run with. Just so much body and so much mass in that one, a lot to like. The red heifer coming out here next, big-footed, heavy bone one again. You know, you can find a lot of things to appreciate in her. For me, in this particular class, she's the one that's just a little bolder, a little rounder all the way through, but still a high-quality female. 
They have her here that we're going to round out with. Really sound, really flexible, maternal in her look. I think she just didn't really take the trip all that well. She needs to just fill up a little bit more, uh, and I think she can rival one or two of them out here today. But that female's built in terms of her structure really, really good. I think she's got a nice future ahead of her as well. Congratulations to them. First call, class four, Hereford females. First call, class four, Hereford females. First call, class seven, short horn plus females. Again, first call, class seven, short horn plus females. Placings for class five, short horn plus females are as followed. First place goes to entry number 19, MS Silky Bow 0422, exhibited by Emma McCallan from Woodsfield, Ohio. Second place goes to entry number 23, CFCSF Mona Lisa 282 Primo XET, exhibited by Ryan Wickard from Wilkinson, Indiana. Third place goes to entry number 20, ZSF Grand Rosemary's Primo, exhibited by Colton Anderson, Lake Village, Indiana. Fourth place goes to entry number 22, Steck WSCC Katie Babe 231K ET, exhibited by Brexton Galby from Edison, Ohio. Fifth place goes to entry number 21, MFS Oreos Ladies Dream 258K ET, exhibited by Montgomery Betram from Willing, West Virginia. Now entering the ring will be class six in your short horn plus female show. Again, class six is now in the ring. Second call for class seven in the makeup ring. Results of class two in your Hereford show in first place, entry number 22, SCG Miss Classy Diana 201K, exhibited by Olivia Neal of Osgood, Indiana. In second place, entry number 25, Showtime LLFF Ella 224, exhibited by Lindsay Cavanaugh of Memphis, Michigan. In third place, entry number 23, Jack Witter. In fourth place, entry number 19, exhibited by Amberlynn Christianberry. In fifth place, entry number 17, exhibited by Trent Johnson. In sixth place, Jaden Simpson. Seventh place, Kennelly Connolly. In eighth place, Bailey Loudman. In ninth place, Isaac Cyphers. And in tenth place, Sedona Sifford. This is your second call, class four, Hereford females. Second call, class four, Hereford females. Third and final call, class four, Hereford females. Third and final call, class four, Hereford females to the makeup arena. Entry number 46 to the scales, please. Over on your shorthorn ring, we would like to introduce our national shorthorn lassie queen, Miss Paige Wickard. She is from Wick Wickeson, Indiana, daughter of David and Leslie Wickard. She is a junior at Anderson University, majoring in nursing. 
She has been showing shorthorns for 13 years. She is excited to represent the shorthorn breed throughout her region. Could you please join me in giving Miss Paige Wickard a round of applause for being with us today. Interesting class over here on the Shorthorn Plus side, and, and I'll just come out and be honest, there's maybe not one heifer in here that just really jumps out at me and, and wins handily and just my type and kind that we're going to stick with and roll with all day long, but I think the longer that we are out here and the more that I study these things, the young lady's roan heifer just in terms of her build, in terms of her flexibility, in terms of her foot size and her bone work and body mass, I think she excels the contemporaries. You know, she's maybe a little boxier for me, uh, maybe not quite as just overall one that I would just coin super maternal in her look, but I think she's the best balanced heifer out here. She's the best structured heifer, and that's where she's going to go ahead and lead things off with. Nice place to start. The young man's heifer here in second. I, I like this female from her shoulders back. I think she is maternal looking. She's fresh and attractive up front. If I could change the angle to this one, shoulder and knee, and just see her a little more relaxed in her spine as she gets out and goes, I probably do prefer some things about her over that class winner a little bit. Uh, but she just wanting to fight that halter and kind of roach in her top, and, and it's just hard for me to get around that out here today. The young lady's black heifer here in, in, in third is uh, one that does give you a good look. She's good footed and good boned. For me, though, she does get a little piecey. I think she's a little bold in her shoulder. She's a little weak there and behind it. There's times, too, she wants to kind of get up in her back and just doesn't really flex her hock as, as, as collective as I'd like to see out here today. But a nice heifer there in the third hole. The young lady's black and white one coming out here next. Uh, you, know, you can say some of the same things. I think she's attractive. She's got enough foot size. For me, she's a little tubular compared to those first three, a little rounder there from hooks to pins. Young ladies have for the creamy colored one coming out here next. There's Again, there's some things I don't mind in this one. I think she's good in the slope, an angle to her shoulder and to her knee. She's got some spring of rib. She's another one, though, that just needs to be a little looser out of her hip and hind leg as she gets out on the move. Then our female we're going to conclude with, Heifer that I think is long strided. For me though, she just gets really PC and kind of open there at the top of her shoulder, a little too plain up front, uh, but a nice class. Congratulations. Back again over here on uh, on the Hereford side. Again, I'm going to say that quite a little bit all day, but uh, tremendous class, and I compliment all those exhibitors on bringing us some some really top end quality. Uh, there's no doubt as you go through and sort in my own mind uh, the heifer to go ahead and start with. I can do so rather handedly. I the one that just hit me really hard as she gets in here. 
Uh, I think that one, if you describe her, is very, very unique. She's so long and extended up front, still good in terms of her center body rib shape, but she commands some authority when she gets out here and covers some ground. I think she's got some reach off of both ends, very, very flexible in, in the way she gets out and gets around. I think she numbers up uh, very, very respectively, but that's a high-quality heifer that I like, uh, like really well. Heifer here in second, I think one is so attractive, and she is well presented, and she's fresh in terms of her condition, but I like her in terms of her angles. Not near the mass power of the heifer to go ahead and start with, but, but the kind of cattle that you can just go out and do, do a lot of good things with. I think she's going to have a lot of good days with that kind of flexibility and look. Young lady does a nice job of showing her as well. I think it's just a good kind of a heifer. Then we move down here in third, and that's really a stout, bold made one. She's got power if you want to talk about that, and I can appreciate, uh, you know, her upper turn to her rib shape at this age in terms of her maturity, uh, the power she has from a muscle standpoint. I like that really well, but with that, she just could be a little more refined, the top side of her neck laid in just a little smoother about her shoulder and her shoulder transition into her forerib. But the boy, that's still a, a big time breeding female that's got some good to her, very attractive on her hind leg. Young lady, I thought, did a nice job of showing. Next heifer coming out are the next two. We have some contrasting types. You've got to ask yourself where you want to land and how you want to be. Uh, we've kind of got some things we'd change on both of them, things you'd like. For me, I guess I, I give up a little more size in this one here, but I think she's ultra attractive. I think she's smooth made. I think she's really good in terms of her lines. I'd like to soften her just a little bit in terms of her rear hock, in terms of the way she gets off of her hind leg. Uh, but I like her freshness and femininity and the quality she gives us. The bigger heifers definitely got more power, more weight per day of age. Uh, but for me, she may have a slight advantage in her rear hock. But her issue is we talk about where I'd change her is up there in her shoulder. She's a little far forward in terms of her angle, kind of comes apart just a little bit. Uh, from that standpoint, but her neck comes high out of her shoulder. She gives us kind of a nice look there, but a good kind of a female. We've got a big bodied one coming out next. That's good from her fore rib to her rear fank. I like that about her. Uh, but there's times when you get her set up, she gets a little tapered from her hooks to her pins and kind of pinches in there behind a little bit and just didn't maybe want to balance up quite as nicely as I'd like to see, but still a very, very nice heifer. The wavy haired heifer coming out here next. She's good bodied. She's good, good in terms of uh, her her balance, she could have more dimension to her and a little bit more stoutness in terms of the ground. The big growthy heifer uh, rounds out the class, love her body, love her dimension. Uh, for me, she just got to be a little more attractive in terms of her lines, a little bit more femininity for her to compete any higher. But again, outstanding class, Hereford females. Results of class three of your Hereford female show in first place. Your class winner goes to entry number 30, Showtime Queen Michelle, exhibited by Caitlin Hockemeyer of Columbia, Columbia City, Indiana. In second place, entry number 34, SCC Macy 412, exhibited by Chesney Robb of Kimundi, Illinois. In third place, entry number 36, Sophia Taylor. In fourth place, entry number 29, Mark Lofton, in fifth place, entry number 27, Mason Love. In sixth place, entry number 38, Trevin Red. In seventh place, entry number 31, Stanton Bowman. And in eighth place, entry number 37, Tatum Green. Now entering the ring is class four of your Hereford females, and this is your third and final call, class five, Hereford females. Once again, third and final call, class five, Hereford females. Over in your Shorthorn Plus show, your results for class six are as followed. First place goes to entry number 30, CCS Charming Lady 31 5K, exhibited by Ella James, Manto, Illinois. Second place goes to entry number 25, Bane Cheer Comedy 223, exhibited by Ashton Bain from Lynchburg, Ohio. Third place goes to entry number 31, MFS Fona 17K, exhibited by Alexa Lowe from Macy, Indiana. Fourth place goes to entry number 27, RCTFG Cinderella 237ET, exhibited by Piper Campbell from Eaton, Ohio. 
Fifth place in that class goes to entry number 29, Bingo, exhibited by Kenley Klein from Ripley, Ohio. And in sixth place in class 24 goes to FCF, Princess Happy Hour, 007, exhibited by Evan Pulaski from Butler, Indiana. Now in the ring is class seven in your short horn plus female show. Again, now in the ring is class seven, early spring heifer calves. Attention in the barns, this is your third and final call, Class 5 Hereford Females. Third and final call, Class 5 Hereford Females to the Makeup Arena. Another high, high quality class of these Shorthorn Pluses over here. And, and uh, again, you can find a few useful things about each and every one of them. I do think these top four are really, really nice. And the longer we're out here, and again, the longer we study them, I just keep coming back to this young man's female here. I think she does a lot of things that I like. I think, again, it starts at the ground with a little extra foot, a little extra bone, and then she can really utilize that when she gets out on the go, an extremely long strided, flexible, athletic female that still gives you a good maternal look. I think her top line and her spine and her length of hip excel the contemporaries out here in this particular class. That's where I like her to go ahead and lead things off with. The black and white heifer that's coming out here next, I think matches her in terms of that balance, in terms of that maternal look. She's a female, and compared to the one that goes out right in front of her, maybe not as extended all the way through, but I think one that's certainly long enough bodied, maybe not as elevated in terms of uh, uh, just wanting to maybe run downhill just a shot out here, and at times kind of gets a little weaker in behind her shoulder, uh, but that is a flexible, long spine, square-hipped, level-made female there to go ahead and follow up that class winner with. I like the heifer here in third as well. I think she's probably the biggest legged and the biggest footed one that we've got out here. Real maternal through the center part of her body and rib cage. I can just find a few more things I'd tweak on this one. I think she's maybe not as bold and open through her heart. She's a little bit deeper chested compared to heifers that go one and two. For me, the deciding factor, though, she's just a little shorter hipped and a little bit lower pinned. That's getting overly critical, uh, but you kind of got to do that out here when we've got a lot of quality from top to bottom. 
young ladies effort here in fourth, and I can see some people really grabbing a hold of this one because, man, she is striking to look at, extremely up-headed and attractive. She's good structured, too. For me, though, I read her as one that's just going to be a little harder keeping uh, than those first three females, but, again, getting overly critical on, on that one, but uh, a lot of things to like. And then our young ladies effort we're going to round out with, She's good structured. She's good bodied. She just gets out horsed out here with those females that uh, stand up in front of her. Really, really good class. Let's give those exhibitors a nice round of applause. We do need class 10 in the makeup ring. Again, we do need class 10 short horn plus females in the makeup ring. Results for class seven short horn plus females are as follows. First place goes to entry number 37, TSSC AGRF, She's a Dream, 2506K, exhibited by Ella Walther from Centerville, Indiana. Second place goes to entry number 38, MFS Oreos Cookie, 14K, exhibited by Grady Harrison from Greensburg, Indiana. Third place goes to entry number 35, CF Mona Lisa 255 OPX, exhibited by Mark Insleep from Lafayette, Indiana. Fourth place goes to entry number 36, TSSC She's a Diamond 2028K, exhibited by Campbell Thomas from State Center, Iowa. And in fifth place in that class goes to entry number 34, Turner Sarah's Dream 2231, exhibited by Emma Arnett from Bro Brooksville, Ohio. Now in the ring for your Shorthorn Plus is early spring heifer calf champion. Again, we need class 10 Shorthorn Plus females in the makeup ring. Entries in your early spring heifer calf champion division of your Shorthorn Plus female show are as followed. Out of your class four goes to, is entry number 13. Out of class five is entry number 19. Out of class six is entry number 30. And out of class seven is entry number 37. All competing for your early spring heifer calf champion in your Shorthorn Plus female show. Over here. In a uh, very, very competitive uh, class of Hereford heifers is uh, uh, tremendously good in terms of quality. And we went through and kind of kind of brought them out a little different. And I think it just takes a little bit as you go through. And, and not that you don't obviously tell that uh, there. She give up a little bit on the, on the number side to get a little bit in terms of weight per day of age. But the heifer I go ahead and land with, uh, she definitely is the soundest uh, structured female in the class. She bounces up pretty well. She's very, very feminine. She's got a tremendous amount of good to her. Now, she may be distorted and get her pulled out there first in terms of just the mass and body, the heifer there in second. Uh, but, boy, that is, uh, that's really good stock in terms of one that can pick them up and put them down and, and have that kind of flexibility and still presence to her. Young ladies heifer, I just as I first brought her in here, she's so massive in terms of her body and good in terms of her look. I like those things about her really well. The question I've got on her is you study her up there in her front knee. At this age, she's maybe just a nickel far forward for me. I'd like to lay her back in terms of the way she's she's made in her knee and her shoulder, the way she'd blend into her forerib. But you got to love her body, got to love her look. Young lady does a really good job of presenting her extremely well. The dark red heifer here in third, I think, is one that is a high-quality female, too, and was an easy easy one to gravitate to. I like the look and presence she has. Uh, she's got a little more shape in terms of muscle. I like her upper shape to her rib. I think she's still really balanced. I just didn't know if I seen quite the, the dimension and lower, lower dimension to her rib at this stage here. Uh, and just like to give her a little more extension there up front. But I think that's a very, very high-quality heifer that's got a lot of good and going to do a lot of good. A good basic female comes here in fourth. I like her just in terms of smoother, sure shoulder, good in her forerib, has some muscle. I like to lay her down her tail head just a little bit and maybe make her neck just a little thinner comparatively to some of the cattle right there ahead of her. But I think she's a very good, solid, basic kind of a cow. 
a good heifer here coming out next. So long bodied that she needs just a little bit more dimension to her rib at this stage, but I liked her flexibility, the length to her stride, the length to her front end. I think she's got a really good future to her. I just think today she just needs to, to come into just a little bit more natural rib shape for me for that extra length of body to her for her to move up. A big stout cowie one comes out here next, and you just got to love the, the potential she can do in terms of one when we take the halter off and kick her out on grass. Uh, she's got some doability. She's got some muscle. She's got some power. Now, compared to in the show ring, I'd like to clean her up a little in terms of her navel, a little bit in terms of her front end to make her more attractive, but I can sure appreciate that kind of cattle to a very, very high degree. Next half her greener in terms of condition, flatter in her shoulder. I'd like to give her a little more expansion, open her up, give her a little bit more body, but I sure recognize the fact that she's got a hind leg that reaches out and takes a big old long step to her. Dark pigmented heifer there, lay her back in her shoulder, but I like her from there back extremely well. A very soft structured one maybe gets a little soft in terms of her pastures, a little loose in terms of uh, her makeup, but still one that's got a lot of good to her. But in a very good, nice class Herfords. I go over here in our plus ring. We get ready to pick this uh, calf second division here, these calves. And I tell you what, it's uh, been some quality. We had a couple of classes that, uh, you know, they run four and five head deep out there. And we'll hit on them briefly just a little bit for you here before I go and get you a champion in reserve. After out of that first class, you know, we talked about her structurally. I think she's really good. She's really good in terms of her body and in terms of her rib. She's maybe not the most extended and attractive up front. You know, they don't have to be choke necked for me, but I do like to see them with a little added extension and length and have that chest tucked back in them. And I think, you know, you can harp on her just a little bit right there, but that one's still built really, really nice. So young ladies have her out of that second class just in terms of balance. I mean, this thing, I think, excels out here. She's true at the ground. She's got some base width to her. She's so good and collected in her shoulder and in her knee with some width there as she goes to the ground. Uh, just tremendous in terms of that maternal look that she gives. There's a lot of things to like in this one out here today. The young ladies, Roan Heifer, out of that uh, third class. You know, we talk that particular class, maybe not as deep as the others, but from a structural standpoint, from a stoutness standpoint, this heifer won, and I think she fits out here in this division, uh, uh, just a solid, solid heifer. The one that comes out of that last class, I think there was a pair of them there on the top end that structurally we liked a great deal. I really like the added length and the extension of this female. You know, there's times maybe she gets just a little flatter in her quarter and a shot narrower there underneath compared to another, uh, but there's a lot of things to like. She's good-footed and well-balanced, just so loose and, and sound when she gets out on the go. Just a, a high quality division. I'll go out here and get you a champion in reserve if you would. Give these young exhibitors a nice big round of applause. Results of class four of your Hereford female show. In first place, your class winner goes to entry number 46, BACC 629 Georgina K208, exhibited by J.W. Teets of Lost River, West Virginia. In second place, entry number 51, DJF Remati, exhibited by Kaya Howe of Wagontown, Pennsylvania. In third place, entry number 50, Riley Rhodes. In fourth place, entry number 42, Natalie Pitstick. In fifth place, entry number 40, Delaney Chester. In sixth place, entry number 41, Caleb Wyszkowski. In seventh place, entry number 44, Taylor Ludman. And in eighth place, entry number 47, Trevin Red. Now exhibiting in the Hereford ring is the selection of your champion spring heifer calf. This is your first call, class six, Hereford females. First call, class six, Hereford females to the Bank of Arena. And your early spring heifer calf champion in your Shorthorn Plus female show goes to entry number 19. MS Silky Bow 0422 exhibited by Emma McCallan from Woodsfield, Ohio. And your reserve heifer calf champion goes to entry number 37. TSSC RGRF She's a Dream 2506K exhibited by Eli Walther from Centerville, Indiana. Congratulations. Now entering the ring is Class 10 in your Shorthorn Plus female show. We do need Class 11 in the makeup ring. 
We get out here in our first division here in our Hereford show, and in what a what a lineup of heifers to come out here, and you know they've got some quality, and all those classes are extremely deep, but uh, sure look good as we come out here. Uh, real talk about them real quick, because I do think they've got tremendous quality and, and worthy of that. And heifer comes out first class. You know when we got out there, I liked her from a quality and presentation and stoutness and power. You know, she wanted to lay down there in class, and she's starting to maybe come apart just a little bit from a tiredness of, of being a young heifer. But there's no denying that she's got some muscle. She's got some power. She's got the birth weight to kind of go with it just a little bit, but yet she's still smooth in terms of her makeup, a quality female that a guy likes really well. Heifer, take the circle right here in, in front of me that comes out of that, uh, that second class. Uh, tremendously high quality. She's so well presented and got a good look. She's very captivating. She's easy to come to in terms of, of, of taking a look at her and finding the female. I think she's got just, just balance and yet still has some power, still has some smoothness. Uh, I think as you get out there, you know, a, a super good female. If I was to change just a little bit at times, I'd like to relax her a little bit in her spine, and I think maybe some of that could just be a calf getting out here. Uh, but, boy, she's just got a tremendous amount of quality, a lot of good to her. Heifer right behind her is one that, uh, you know, hit me really hard as you come out there. She's really long and extended up in her front end. She's got some dimension to her. Uh, she's very flexible and commands the ring really well in terms of her movement. Now, if we'd change her just a little bit, maybe we'd square up in, a, in her hooks to her pins region just a little bit. But I think sometimes we, we lose a little flexibility that she does have. But that's a very nice heifer I like really well. Young man's heifer that we come out there in, in one first glance, she probably needs a little more power for me from a muscle standpoint. But boy, after that, uh, she is so good in terms of the way she hits the ground, in terms of flexibility, laid back on her shoulder, still maternal and feminine and good about her body. I think she's one that, uh, you know, very, very nice heifer. You got to ask where she's at from a power standpoint, but uh, very good female. For me, I guess in uh, this, this first division to start out and trying to find the, the, the best cattle we can get out here that fit me for what I like, young lady there out of that third class, you're going to be my first division winner. Congratulations. And your champion spring heifer in your Hereford show goes to entry number 30, Showtime Queen Michelle, 223, exhibited by Caitlin Hockemeyer of Columbia City, Indiana. Congratulations. Second call, class six, Hereford females. Second call, class six, Hereford females. And your reserve champion, Spring Heifer Calf, in your Hereford show goes to entry number 22, SCG Miss Classy Diana, 201K, exhibited by Olivia Neal of Osgood, Indiana. Second call for class 11, Shorthorn Plus females. Again, second call, class 11, Shorthorn Plus females. We do need entry 50 to the scales. Entry 50, Shorthorn Plus female, please make your way to the scale. Quickly as we get out here in uh, in your Hereford show, and, and, and want to say quickly, but yet we don't really need to uh, to rush because really you get in a bread known division, you know I think that is uh, you know so important, and you know that's no different than you know what I'm fortunate enough to do every day is uh, breed and raise them and make a living off of it. So I I don't want to recognize the fact these young people are are doing a good job and building themselves up and, and get that recognition out here in the green chips. And, and I think all four of these are, are really nice. And, and the one to win this division is going to be that one I had pulled out first to win that class and end up second in that class. 
I think she's got a tremendous amount of good, reads good on paper, looks good on quality, presented really well. Congratulations, young lady, be champion in the first division, Brett Nog. Like over here in our Shorthorn Plus ring, uh, a good pair here on the top end. And uh, I think within that pair, the young man, Seth Brum, will go ahead and start with, again, just structurally, this one best suits me. I think she's the most flexible and an angular out of her shoulder and how she handles her knee. She follows it up with a long, fluid stride there from behind. She's overwhelming in terms of body and mass and shape through the center part of her skeleton as well. She's a little plainer up front. Got a little more chest than some that we're going to see, but that one looks like a nice cow prospect for that young man. The young man's heifer here in second. I, I like this one's look. I like her elevation there at the top of her shoulder and how her neck comes high there out of it. I think she's a heifer that handles that rear leg and hawk really well when you get her out on the go. I'd fix her up front. I think just to tighten that point of that shoulder into her skeleton a little bit, see her handle that a little more collectively as she gets out on the go. The pair of heifers coming out here next, uh, you know, the, the roan heifer for me is just a little more maternal looking. She's a little more refined in terms of her angles and her smoothness all the way through. She gets overpowered compared to the heifers that go first and second, uh, but I like her type and I like her kind a little better than the one we wrap up with. Big powerful ones, the young lady silver heifer coming out here in fourth, and you have to appreciate that. You like that added shape and muscle and dimension. For me, she just reads the shot more terminal in her kind, a little rounder all the way through, but a real good class. Congratulations to them. And in placings in class 10 of your junior heifer calves of your Shorthorn Plus show, are as follows. First place goes to entry number 45, MFS Myrtle Bomia 06K, exhibited by Tyler Dossi from Turman, Ohio. Second place goes to entry number 41, Athens Cass on Dixie 1202, exhibited by Cooper Hedricks from Fairmont, Ohio. Third place goes to entry number 42, LB Crystal Chip 139K, exhibited by Colton Olsby from Riley, Illinois. Fourth place goes to entry number 44, Malibu, exhibited by Jordan Chant from DeWitt, Michigan. Now entering your ring is Class 11. Shorthorn Plus females again now entering the ring will be Class 11. First call, first call for Class 12. Again, first call for Class 12. You should be in the makeup ring. Third and final call, class six, Hereford females. Third and final call, class six, Hereford females to the makeup arena. We'd also like to congratulate your champion, Spring Heifer, bred and owned, goes to entry number 51, DJW Remte, 18K, exhibited by Akaya Howe of Wagontown, Pennsylvania. Now exhibiting in the Hereford ring is class number five. Second call for class 12, Shorthorn Plus females to the makeup ring. Again, second call for class 12, Shorthorn Plus females to the makeup ring.
over here in our plus ring, another high quality class, uh, but at the same time, we've got one that's just a standout out here in this particular lineup. A female that, you know, we could say a lot of things about her uh, compared to the rest out here. We're just gonna kind of leave it as this is the best one. She's the best footed. She's the best structured and the biggest bodied. Real maternal through the center part of her skeleton. Just a whole lot to like in that one. For me, the sort lies from second on down and, and I'm pretty comfortable with the heifer that we've got here in second. I think she follows our class winner in terms of boldness and shape through the center part of her skeleton. She gets out and reaches and travels athletic enough for me out here in the ring is she maybe have the presence of the one that we used to start no she don't but uh, that's still a quality female that just had a really good one there uh, up in front of her the young ladies have her coming out here in third I don't mind this one at the stand I think she gives you a good look she's got a lot of shape through her center body as well I like the way she handles her hip and hind leg for me though when you set her out on the go she's just wanting to fight it and get a little up in her top she's not quite is correct in the angle to her shoulder and down through her knee as the heifers that go one and two. Young ladies heifer coming out here next, a uh, female that I think reads sound enough out here on the go. She just gets a little flatter, a little frailer and narrower all the way through compared to those females at the top end. The red heifer coming here next probably has a little extra foot size and a little extra bone to her, but for me she's way too tubular and tight in her body shape and in her rib to get up any higher. And then our roan heifer that we're going to conclude the class with, I think you appreciate for some bone and some boldness, some shape through her center skeleton. Structurally though, she's the one I probably find the most holes in off of both ends of her skeleton. Really good class, high quality one there to lead off. Entry number 57 in class 12. We need you to make up ring for your shorthorn plus female. Class or entry number 57. Please make your way to the make up ring immediately. Placings for class 11 shorthorn plus females are as follows. First place goes to entry number 52, CF KLS Dream On, exhibited by Houston Free from Sullivan, Indiana. Second place goes to entry number 51. GCR Dream On Primo, exhibited by Aubrey Robertson from Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. Third place in class 11 is, goes to entry number 47, Shady Brook Primo Onic 50K, exhibited by Haley Meyer from Summer, Michigan. And in fourth place goes to entry number 48, RC Blacklist Lucy, exhibited by Liberty Glasser from Winsfield, Ohio. And in fifth place goes to entry number 50, DRM Miss Jan 203, exhibited by Sarah Russell from Stevensburg, Virginia. And in sixth place goes to entry number 49, Thelma, uh, exhibited by Lane Byrne from Fish, Phil City, Ohio. Now in the ring will be class 12 of your Shorthorn Plus female show. Again, now entering the ring is class 12, shorthorn plus females. We do need uh, those class winners for your junior heifer calf champion in the makeup ring. Again, we need all the class winners for your junior heifer calf champion in the makeup ring. At this time, we'd like to recognize your 2022 National Hereford Queen, Miss Madison Katzenberger. Madison is the daughter of Eric and Rosie Katzenberger. She recently graduated from the University of Wisconsin, Platteville with a bachelor's degree in animal science and a minor in Spanish. While at UWP, Madison served as the Block and Bridal Club president and served on the Pioneer Showdown Beef Committee as chair and public relations chair. She was a member of the homecoming court her senior year and volunteered as a manager for the men's baseball team. Madison has been a member of the Wisconsin Junior Hereford Association for 15 years and is currently serving as the association president. She has attended JNHE 14 times and she has participated in, in a, the broad array of activities. She was voted the outstanding state junior repre representation of the state of Wisconsin at the 2022 JNHE. Her FFA achievements include the FFA state degree and gold section winner for beef entrepreneurship. Outside the show ring, Madison enjoys playing music for her church and showing banners to hang in the sanctuary. Madison is currently employed as an embryologist for Bovatech USA in Madison, Wisconsin. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a round of applause to Madison Katzenberger, your national Hereford queen.
out here at this class of Herefords as we get to start it back over. And man, what a good class, top to bottom. You can look and be proud of as breeders to, to be part of that. And I know a few of you probably down the line maybe just a little disappointed uh, in terms of coming to town with that kind of quality and not, not being up there a little bit. But boy, it, uh, the water gets deep, so to say, uh, within this class. I think this is a two-horse race. And it just gets down to kind of some personal preferences of what you like. They're just enough different, but yet they're still both very, very high quality. The heifer I choose to start with, to me, just just a little more completeness in terms of having a little bit more shape, a little more dimension. I like when she gets out her in the move, she holds herself together uh, impeccable in terms of her balance. She's good in terms of her hind leg, uh, the way she sets down. I think she does some things there to, to a really high degree. The heifer there in second. So long-bodied, so extended. She gets a little bit more maturity, I guess, in terms of kind of up in terms of her head, but I like her length of body. When she relaxes, gives us that look, she can give us a really good look because her neck comes up high out of her shoulder. But to me, I just didn't know today if she transitioned just well enough for, for me to be comfortable in terms of the way she went from her shoulder to her forerib and the way she gets out there in her hip at times. I'd like to see her just a little bit more. She's very, very flexible, but a little more coordinated in terms of the way she goes off her hind two legs. But boy, that is a really, really good female. That's a really nice pair of uh, top end uh, Hereford heifers to look and study. Young man's heifer here in third. She caught me right away. When you study her top line, she's got some shape in terms of turn up high. Uh, she's fresh in terms of true, in terms of condition. Uh, she's good in terms of her body. She's level from her chest floor back to her rear rib and flank. I like that about her. Not quite as flexible in terms of her hind leg of the two cattle right there ahead of her, but a very, very nice heifer. Young lady here is one that gives me a really good look because the front two thirds of this heifer is very maternal. I like just how everything fits together in terms of her neck into her shoulder, into her rib shape. She's really good in terms of being clean jointed, good in terms of her angles. I'd change her just a little bit in terms of the way she comes out of her hip and then when she goes, she wants to just kind of swivel just a, ever so slightly uh, out of her hip and I would change her from that standpoint, but uh, still I think that's a really good breeding female and a good package and a nice kind of female. Young Ladies Heifer is one that uh, caught my eye really quick because I do like them uh, you know, long-necked ones that still have some rib shape to her. But to me, when you talk about balance in terms of muscle, she needs a little bit more lower quarter to her to balance up from the side and just like to give her a little power. She just a little higher in terms of twist, not getting carried away of talking muscle. But I think as you look back and study her from a balance standpoint, I think she lacks that area to balance up. Not going to argue the fact I love her darkness to her color and pigmentation. I like the presence she has in terms of her head and neck, a really, really nice heifer. A powerful, stout heifer young man has here in front of me. She gives us still a good look. I like her bone, her muscle, her width, her dimension. Uh, to me, just a little bit as you get out here, I'd just like to give her a little more length to her stride. She gets a little choppy off of her hind end, uh, gets a little restricted kind of there in terms of comparatively, uh, but still a very, very nice heifer. Another heifer coming out around the corner, and it's very flat and maternal. I like that about her. Just need to open her up and give her a little bit more dimension. I'd like to change her in terms of her rear hock. I thought she got a little sharper in terms of her hock. Uh, but still a good heifer. Young man's heifer, very smooth made, very complete, very very feminine type of a heifer. Just need a little bit more dimension, a little more doability for her to move up. Uh, heifer, heifer, next one coming out has got some muscle, got some stoutness, got to relax her again a little bit in terms of her structure, and then we get down the other three heifers. Have got some good, have some usefulness and utility to them. I uh, just don't have the balance or quality to go ahead and compete within this class. But very, very good heifers. My compliments to the breeders and exhibitors of this very fine class, Hereford females. Third and final call, class 15, Shorthorn plus females. Third and final call, class 15, Shorthorn plus females to the makeup arena. Once again, a reminder to all exhibitors and their families, there are no aerosol cans permitted in the makeup arena, and there is also no smoking here in Broadbent Arena. First call, class seven, Hereford females. First call, class seven, Hereford females to the makeup arena. Results of class five in your Hereford show. In first place, entry number 55, Purple Elmay Trudy, 200K, exhibited by Stetson Story of Stockton, Illinois. 
In second place, entry number 60, KLL KLD Toyger 1K, exhibited by Hadley Dunclough from Wayne, Nebraska. In third place, entry number 64, John Cox. In fourth place, entry number 68, Sage Lawrence. In fifth place, entry number 67, Paisley Van Horn. In sixth place, entry number 65, Avery Stadler. In seventh place, entry number 63, Allie Anderson. In eighth place, entry number 57, Braxton Carper. In ninth place, entry number 66, Turner Harville. In 10th place, entry number 62, Liliana Myers. In 11th place, entry number 58, Madison Seifert. Now exhibiting in the ring is class number six. Back over here in our Shorthorn Plus ring. I think we've got three here on the top end that really soared off. And then as I start to pick them apart and evaluate them, I think we've got a pair of females that are a little better footed, a pair of females that are just a little more angular in terms of the slopes and the set to their shoulder and how it's laid onto their skeleton. And then within that duo, the young man's heifer, I think, overwhelms in terms of foot size, bone, body mass, just softness all the way through. Really soft and loose in her spine. A female that's really good hipped and the way she flexes her hock and hind leg is near ideal for me out here today. I think a real good place to start. I like the look and I like the pattern a lot of this young man's heifer here in second. And I think as she matures and gets bred and does the right things, she's got that added length and extension up front. I think it could maybe rival that one uh, that we go ahead and lead off with today. She reads a little tighter in her heart, not as soft and bellied down through that rear rib and flank. But that one's patterned up and built for the long haul. Young man's got a nice heifer there that he's going to have a lot of fun with. There's a lot of things I like about this one here in third. I think in terms of her foot, in terms of her bone, just in, in, in regards to the stoutness that she's got, She's better than the one in second. She is a little softer through her rear rib and flank. I can find a few more problems structurally with this one, just getting really nitpicky. I'd change her toe shape just a little bit up front there. And then as she wants to get out and go, she just doesn't reach out of that front end as long and athletic as the heifers that go first and second. But those three are quality, quality females. Young ladies heifer coming next, a big bodied, bold one. Uh, again, structurally though, compared to those first three, she's way too twisted twisted up, tangled up there out of her front end, just not enough length and extension. The cream colored heifer that's gonna come next is a female that's got some shape, got some boldness through her center skeleton. She too though just gets a little round, a little harder and tighter through that uh, uh, rear rib and flank as well. And our roan heifer that's gonna come next, another one that's not lacking for some width and some muscle shape. Again, structurally, she just doesn't do it for me off of either end. And then our heifer we're gonna conclude with is long bodied and extended as any of them. She moves out pretty good. There's just not enough cow power there in this one for me to run her up any higher. Nice class. Congratulations to all those exhibitors. And placings for class 12 of your Shorthorn Plus female show are as follows. First place goes to entry number 61 CFNB Denim 21 Primo XET exhibited by Grady McGreer from Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. And second place goes to entry number 59 MFS Blair's Bonnie 6K ET exhibited by Reed Utterback from Elwood, Indiana. And in third place goes to entry number 60, BRKRE Dream Lady P204 exhibited by Garrett Rush from Spencer, Ohio. And in fourth place goes to entry number 58 exhibited by Caroline Jordan from Washington Island, Wisconsin. And in fifth place goes to entry number 57 exhibited by Eli Ripberger uh, from Tipton, Indiana. And in sixth place goes to entry number 55, Grace Wyatt from Bath Springs, Tennessee. And in seventh place in class 12 goes to entry number 54, exhibited by Andy Mayer Williams from Elizabethtown, Kentucky. And now entering the ring will be your selection of your junior heifer calf champion in your Shorthorn Plus female show. And out of class 10 should be entry number 45, exhibited by Tyler Dossey from Truman, Ohio. And out of class 11 should be entry number 52, exhibited by Houston Faree, Sullivan, Indiana. And out of class 12 should be entry number 61, exhibited by Grady McGreer from Gradysburg, Pennsylvania. Again, we are selecting your junior heifer cap champion in your Shorthorn Plus 
female show. Third and final call for class 15, Shorthorn Plus females. Third and final call, class 15, Shorthorn Plus females. Another really nice division over here in our Shorthorn Plus ring and uh, three respective class winners and the seconds that we bring back out. And again, I'll hit on them just a little bit briefly. Young man's heifer that, that comes out of that first class. You know, we talked her. There maybe wasn't uh, just a barn burner in that particular lineup, but this heifer here in terms of just body and boldness and broodiness, I think uh, she excelled the class out there for me. Really good structured female. Not maybe as much presence and style and eye appeal up front uh, as the two heifers that stand in behind her, but I think body type and her kind just uh, in regards to her rib and her structure, I think she fits right in with the crowd out here today. A really nice class winner out of that uh, first lineup. The young man's heifer that comes out of that second class. Uh, you know, we didn't say a whole lot about her uh, there in the lineup other than some good things, and I think those, those things still uh, excel out here today. In terms of her bone and her foot and her softness all the way through, a female that's just really, really good. I think uh, in this particular class, for me specifically from hooks to pins and the way her tail head sets into her skeleton, I think she excels the heifers on either side of her. The young man's heifer that comes out of that last class. We had a, had three nice ones in there, a good pair of better structured ones to go ahead and lead off. And, and I still think this heifer excels in terms of structure. Uh, just so soft made, so fluid as she gets out on the go. Maybe not quite as, as collected and correct uh, there in, in terms of her levelness out of her hip and the way her tail head sets into her spine. But I'm getting awfully critical uh, on a good pair of females here in this particular division. So I'll go out here. I'll show you how I like them. If you would, give these young folks a big round of applause, and I'll get you a champion in reserve. Over here on the Hereford side, again, uh, not as many numbers as the class before, but uh, not lighting up in terms of quality at all. And, and I think as you go through and as I make that, that walk down that line, the two heifers I get here to the top are the two that, uh, you know, I sure migrated to really fast. I think numbers are sure good and solid and, and, and above the board. And uh, the heifer to start with, just a stout, powerful female. You know, I can tell the young lady, she just got that little waddle of skin right there underneath the just, just start of her throat throat latch area there just to takes a little bit away from her but boy after that uh, for that much power and bone and foot she's still smooth about her shoulder bold and robust about her rib and I think the big advantage she has over the heifer in second I think we put them in motion she handles her top a little bit better a little bit more more natural in terms of how she gets out and down down her spine the heifer here in second she's very maternal in terms of her rib shape and smoothness of pattern and and good in terms of center body but as you know, as I talked about the one right ahead of her, there's times she gets just a little up right there in the center part of her back and just doesn't let her fit together quite as well. When, when we get her set up and get a stick on her, uh, she gives us that great, beautiful profile, uh, really a good look. Now, for me, I just would like to power up a little bit, too, in terms of muscle, a little bit more dimension, but uh, that's still a very, very high-quality heifer. From a muscle and body standpoint, this heifer here, she really fits me really well because her center body is extremely good. She's got some upper turn to her to, to her upper rib shape. She's got some shape and dimension to her muscle. Uh, still clean about her joints. For me, when we put her in motion, she just isn't comfortable coming out of her, her, her neck and her shoulder junction. She just doesn't want to give us that natural look and presence when we go ahead and put her in motion. But uh, the way she's put together, she's well presented. That's still a heifer that's got some really good breeding value, breeding pieces uh, that we can look here and study and sure like. 
the heifer comes out to, we drop down a spot. I loved her in terms of her center body depth. Uh, she's good in, in, in fore rib to rear flank, very attractive from that standpoint. But I think as we get back down here and break her apart a little bit, I'd change her from hock to ground a little bit from her structure, uh, give her just a little more dimension. I thought she got a little bit flat up high in terms of her rib shape. I'd like to give her just a little more dimension there. But most importantly, like I talked about, I'd change her her hock to the ground just a little bit when we get her out here uh, away from her and moving. Two heifers, very contrasting types. Coming out here next, young lady's heifer that I choose to use. Uh, I like her smoothness, her flexibility. I think she has the advantage in terms of soundness and mobility over the heifer right behind her. And I would say that she gives up in terms of body and foot and bone, but yet uh, still a very maternal kind of a female. The next heifer, big, stout, powerful, big top. I like that about her. Uh, but to me, I just change her in terms of her structure uh, off, of her, off of her hind leg and the way she's restricted just a little bit in terms of her hock for me here today, but still one that's got a lot of good good to her. Uh, two nice heifers uh, just give up in terms of just very green, give up weight per day of age, uh, but still have some good in terms of their angles, have some femininity to them, just need more to them for them to compete any higher here today. But again, outstanding class here in your Herford show. Results of class six in your Herford heifer show. Your class winner goes to entry number 73, CFCC Posey 210K, exhibited by Peyton Farmer of Brownstown, Indiana. In second place, entry number 80, LNGE Coco Sensation, exhibited by Cohen Berry of Rockville, Indiana. In third place, entry number 71, John Cox. In fourth place, entry number 78, Zachary Imbringlio. In fifth place, entry number 74, Kyra Sayer. In sixth place, entry number 77, Jack Witter. In seventh place, entry number 70, Mar Marie Proudle. And in eighth place, entry number 246, Mariana Henry. Now exhibiting in the Hereford ring is class number seven. This is your first call, class eight, Hereford females. First call, class eight, Hereford females. And your junior heifer calf champion over your short horn plus ring goes to entry number 52, CFKLS Dream On 21-1 NLXET, exhibited by Houston Faree from Sullivan, Indiana. And your reserve junior heifer calf champion goes to entry number 61, CFNB Demi 21 Primo XET, exhibited by Grady McGreer from Gradysburg, Pennsylvania. Now in the class, or now in the ring, is class number 15, winter heifer calves in your short horn plus female show. We do need class 16 in the makeup ring. Again, we need class 16 short horn plus females in the makeup ring. Back over here in the plus ring, we got a good pair of uh, better structured ones here on top for me. Uh, within that pair, the young lady's heifer I'm going to use to start with just reads to be a little softer all the way through. She's a little better in her heart, a little better in her fore rib. 
She's got more rear rib and flank in her. I like her hip and the way her tail head sets into her skeleton a little more ideal. Just a solid heifer to go ahead and lead off for this young ladies to make her the class winner out here today. A heifer here in second, one that's really striking. She too gets out and travels really free and easy for me out here today. I think and compared to that class winner, she gets a little narrower chested. There's not as much boldness and shape through her center skeleton. I like to set her tail head down into her ever so slightly as well. But uh, a good pair of females there on the top end. I really like this red heifer. And when they came to the ring initially, I thought, man, this one's big bodied. She's bold and she's broody. And she's still all of those things. For me, though, she's got to get out and travel a little freer and easier to get her up any higher. You get in behind her and she's a little bow legged there as well. But uh, that's a still a quality female in terms of body shape and power and mass. The young ladies have her going to come here in fourth. Uh, another one that's just tremendous in terms of her body shape, in terms of her dimension. She gets a little plainer, a little coarser through the front one third of that skeleton. Uh, but still a nice female. And our young ladies, uh, Strawberry Roan one here that's coming out uh, next. I like her foot. I like her bone. I think structurally, though, again, you can find some issues. This female gets a little harder as well all the way through. But a good class, nice pair of good structured cattle there on the top end. And placings for class 15 are as followed. First place goes to entry number 64, C.F. Jolene. 1223 OPX ET exhibited by Piper Cates from Montauk, Indiana. And second place goes to entry number 62, CF Mona Lisa 1131 OPX ET exhibited by Lindsay Jester from Moreland, Indiana. And in third place goes to entry number 63, exhibited by Caitlin Berg from Osgale, Iowa. And in fourth place goes to entry number 65, exhibited by Anna Lee Pullman from Deplos, Ohio. And in fifth place in that class goes to entry number 66, exhibited by Addison Campbell from Eaton, Ohio. And please note that entry number 67 was a scratch. Again, 67 was a scratch. Now in the ring for your Shorthorn Plus female show is class 16. Now in the ring is class 16. We do need class 20 in the makeup ring. We do need class 20 Shorthorn Plus females in the makeup ring. Second call, class eight, Hereford females. Your second call, class number eight, Hereford females. Third and final call, class eight Hereford females. Third and final call, class eight Hereford females. Entry number 101 and 104 to the makeup arena, please. Over here on our Hereford side, uh, again, tremendous class of quality and, and some brood cow prospects out here. And I think as we uh, kind of as they went here, the top two heifers kind of brought themselves in the ring one and two. So we just kind of kind of went through and brought that circle back around to look and study them because we've got some gives and takes. The heifer I choose to start with, I uh, love her in terms of center body, and I think she wins the class when we go ahead and put her in motion. I think she's just more useful in terms of the way she comes out of her rear hock and steps and the length of stride she has, but you take that kind of body and maturity she has for her size and still still put some things together really well. Now, one, I'm not to, to talk about a lot. She's trying to get out there just a little bit in terms of chest at this age uh, as we try to keep that tucked in her. I think she still bounces really well. 
but I like her center body. I like her dimension. The heifer in second, when the young lady gets her set up, she's just actually spectacular in terms of her side profile. Her neck comes up high out of her shoulder. She's smooth about, about her shape. Um, she's very uniform in her body depth. Probably needs just a little bit more body, a little more dimension to her for me. But one, I'd just like to go ahead and we put her in motion. I'd like to just give her a little more ease of movement the way she moves out of her rear hock. I think she gets a little bit restricted and doesn't look as attractive on the move as the one I go ahead and start with. But a very nice heifer, extremely well presented. We've got a powerful heifer here in third, and I can like her from a muscle standpoint really well. She's got some uh, width and thickness up there in her pins, got some boldness to her from that standpoint. I think for that kind of power, she's still a very smooth made heifer, but I think I just need to soften her up in terms of her body. I need to give her just a little bit more dimension, a little bit more natural softness in terms of rib shape for her to go ahead and, and, and compete a little higher. But I still think that's a high quality heifer that's got a lot of value, a lot of things that we can do with her. Next heifer coming in, we change up a little bit and just a flat, smooth made heifer. Uh, not a lot of not a lot of extras, but what she does when she puts those totals together, she puts them in a very very nice nice package. Just got to power up with the with the ones right there ahead of her. Young ladies heifer, uh, we appreciate her ring help to to help her out there. Very attractive, very feminine. Uh, I like the look about her. She's presented really well. Just got a little bit refined in terms of foot and bone. Give up a little bit in terms of weight per day of age for her to be a little more competitive in this class. But but still a very, very high quality heifer. Next young man heifer still well presented. Uh, high quality look to her. Change her hock. Give her a little bit more dimension. I think she'll be okay. Young man's heifer rounded to class. Big growthy, big bodied heifer. Very flexible. I just like to see her just a little more attractive to, for her to move up any higher. But again, nice class of Herefords. Congratulations. Back over in our plus ring here, a pair of these fallborn females. And uh, I'm going to start with a solid black heifer. I think just in terms of her length of body, her length of spine, and length of stride, I think she excels uh, the, the roan heifer right in behind her. Uh, you know, maybe not quite as much muscle shape and power in her as the one standing there to her left. Uh, but for me, I, I like that added comfort and flexibility that she offers when she gets out on the go. The young man's blue roan heifer, good-footed. Big boned, one that's got some shape and some dimension. She gets a little bolder and coarser about her shoulder, a little rounder out of her hip. Not as much length and extension all the way through, but nice pair of fallborns. Congratulations to both of them. And in placings for class 16 over in your Shorthorn Plus female show are as followed. First place in class 16 goes to entry number 70. DL Fancy, exhibited by Kaylee Dameron from so Soaks, Missouri. And second place in class 16 goes to the entry number 68, Scabs Lady Lucy, 1221 ET, exhibited by Ty Wright from Jackson, Missouri. Now in the ring in your Shorthorn Plus female show, we will be selecting your senior heifer calf champion. And out of class 15, you should have entry number 64, exhibited by Piper Cates from Montauk, Indiana. And out of class 16, you should have entry number 70, Exhibited by Ka Kaylee Dameron out of Sioux, Missouri. Again, we are selecting your senior heifer calf champion, Shorthorn Plus female. We do need class 20 to the makeup ring. We do need class 20, Shorthorn Plus females, to the makeup ring, as well as entry number four in class 20. We need entry number four, Shorthorn Plus female, to the makeup ring immediately. As we go to pick this fall division champion in reserve, you know, not as many numbers out here, but I still think we had some quality in both of those uh, respective two classes, and we bring them back out here, and I think our class winners match up pretty good uh, in terms of length of body, in terms of structural soundness. For me, I think the young lady heifer that comes out of that first class, again, just one that's just really soft all the way through. You know, she doesn't overwhelm you. She's not the, the stoutest one we've seen all day or the wildest looking or the biggest bodied. 
And I think she's good balance. She's good built. She's just good stock all the way through. A female that uh, there's a lot to like in her. The young ladies have her out of that uh, second class. You know, we, we talked to her. She has that added length and that added, added extension over the one that she beat. Uh, I like her structurally, you know, maybe not as uh, as soft made all the way through, not as much foot size and bone there underneath her, but still a quality female. Got a real uh, pair of seconds over there uh, that comes out of both of those classes as well. So I'll go out here, get you a champion in reserve if you would, give these fall exhibitors a big round of applause as well. Results of class seven of your Hereford females. In first place, entry number 84, CFCC OG Katie, 42K, exhibited by Libby Rushton of Waverly, Tennessee. In second place, entry number 83, Showtime Day SVF Superstar, exhibited by Allie Harrison of Kingsport, Tennessee. In third place, entry number 89, Jacob Weikert. In fourth place, entry number 88, Hardy Edwards. In fifth place, entry number 91, Harper Starnes. In sixth place, entry number 94, Rylan Hines. And in sixth, seventh place, entry number 92, Gatlin Goulish. Now exhibiting in the Hereford ring is the selection of your champion junior heifer calf. And with these junior heifer calves over here in your Hereford ring, again, we had uh, you know, getting into our second division and the quality has been so good and, and just so impressed as we get back out here. And, and you know you're going to get into a breed that's uh, very, very maternal, uh, but yet still has got to, you know, got some growth. We've been adding some numbers. You know, I think just uh, looking at these cattle here in this lineup, you know, high in terms of Bub Brie Badger for, for the for CHB. And I think it is, uh, you know, it's, it's good where we've still got some growth, uh, growth and some numbers. And, I, you know, I made the comment for me, it seems like I just, uh, you know, kind of hover around that plus four birth weight, uh, like to maybe knock that down just a little bit. But I think these you just, you know, I just naturally like cattle that have some power, have some dimension to them. So I think that's just kind of where we end up in land. Uh, Heifer comes out of that third class. Talk about her. She's right in front of me. And I thought she was one is, is, is in that group. She's so big bodied, so dimensional. She bounces up, I think, relatively well. We'd maybe knock her back in her knee just a little bit. Uh, but I love her body, love her look uh, in a very competitive class. That's a very, very worthy heifer to look and talk about. Heifer out of the middle class is one that you talk about some power in terms of just foot and bone and still some rib. Uh, in dimension, she just talked, got just a little bit of that uh, extra skin right in her throat that really doesn't bother anything, just takes away a little bit from the side profile for some of these th thin necked ones. But, but a really a good, good complete heifer. Uh, we get back at her, maybe we'd blend her just a little bit better in the, within this group of cattle, but still one, I thought, won her class uh, pretty handedly in terms of correctness of her spine and yet still stoutness. The first class there, that was a that was kind of a dog fight between those two heifers. They they sorted themselves out pretty fast. Uh, the heifer here just uh, that that represents that class. Really high quality, really well balanced, really good in terms of her angles. Uh, gets maybe just a little bit lower in terms of her front end for me, just a little bit if we're going to pick on her. Uh, but I love her balance. I love her kind. A little different kind of that one there in second, uh, but she definitely has quality. So. Folks, champion to reserve this division are going to come out of that first class. Congratulations, young ladies there in the front. Over in your Shorthorn Plus female show, your senior heifer calf champion goes to entry number 64. Coming out of class 15, CF Jolene 1223 OPX ET, exhibited by Piper Cates from Montauk, Indiana. And your reserve senior heifer calf champion goes to entry number 62, ex uh, CF Mona Lisa 1131 OPX ET, exhibited by Lindsay Jester from Moreland, Indiana. Congratulations to them. Now in the ring will be class 20. Shorthorn plus females. Again, in the ring is class 20. 
We do need class 23 in the makeup ring and class 24 on your way to the makeup ring. We do need class 23 shorthorn plus females in the makeup ring. Over here on your Brad Nolan side of your Hereford division, we've got three very nice heifers. Young ladies heifer that we talked about her in that really big, tough class. You know, very good in terms of femininity and look from the side. Change her hip just a little bit and how she gets off her hind two. Young man, this end helped me catch that heifer a little bit, and I appreciate his help for that. And going to make a good, uh, good cow breeder, good, smooth, good, complete heifer. Uh, but as far as your champion in this division, the young lady here in the middle had the one class winner that was very competitive in the division right before. Should be your champion. Give her a nice hand. Last and final call for class 23, early spring yearly females in the Shorthorn Plus division. We do need final, last call, class 23, Shorthorn females to the makeup ring. Class 24, this is your second call. Class 24, Shorthorn females, make your way up to the makeup ring. We do need class 23 in the makeup ring immediately. Second call, class nine, Hereford females. Second call, class nine, Hereford females to the makeup arena. Results of your Hereford female show your champion junior Hereford calf goes to entry number 55, Purple L. May Trudy, 200 King, exhibited by Blakely Story of Stockton, Illinois. Your reserve champion junior Hereford calf goes to entry number 60, KLL KLD Toyger, 1K, exhibited by Hadley Dunklow of Wayne, Nebraska. Your champion bred and owned junior Hereford calf goes to entry number 73, CFCC Posey, 210K, exhibited by Peyton Farmer of Brownstown, Indiana. Congratulations, Hereford exhibitors. Now exhibiting in the ring is class number eight of your Hereford females. This is your third and final call, class nine Hereford females. Third and final call, class number nine Hereford females. Back over here in our Shorthorn Plus ring, uh, again, I think we've got a top, a high quality class, and, and within that, lineup uh, we've got a top end here this young lady's heifer that's just really really nice again structurally i think she excels the contemporaries she's a big bodied broody one is she the biggest one no she's big enough though out here for this may line, may class uh, a female that i think when i get in behind her is where i'm even more impressed she's actually got some natural width and some spread down her top 
She's stout and powerful through her hip and down through that lower stifle. That's where she excels this heifer right behind her, just in terms of real muscle shape and dimension. Uh, just a female that, that puts a lot of good things in a really complete package. The young lady's heifer here in second. Really big body. This one, too, super athletic. When you put her out on the move, I like the set and the slope that she's got to her shoulder and to her knee there as she goes to the ground. You know, she's not maybe as fresh in terms of her condition as the one that we start with. She's got a little more chest, a little more pone there around her tail head. And you get in behind her and she does get a little more disappointing. As big footed and big bodied and big boned as she is, she gets a little flatter and a little narrower and just kind of wants to taper there from hooks to pins ever so slightly. But a quality female, I think it's her structure that keeps her over the heifer here in, se in third. Not, not to say that this one's bad structured by any means because I think she's really good out of her hip and the way she utilizes utilizes her hind leg. I would set her back and angle to her shoulder into the set to her knee ever so slightly. Maybe not as big a bodied female as the heifers that go one and two, but I think she fits right in with the same type and kind as those females. A black and white heifer coming in fourth. Another one that I'm sure, you know, can have some fans around the ring. Extremely big top, stout hipped, heavy boned individual. For me, she's just not really my kind. She's a little more round. She's a little rounder and coarser there uh, out of her hip as well. Just not that added length, not that maternal look uh, that I see in the heifers that we use at the top end of the class. The red one that we're going to round out with, I think an angular uh, female that's fresh in her kind out here today, just gets a little too frail, a little too refined to work her up any higher, but a really nice class of those maize there. Congratulations. And entries in class number 20, Shorthorn Plus females are as followed. First place and automatic intermediate champion female goes to entry number 74, Soul Fancy Cherry 1221J ET, exhibited by Carter Courtney from Tulsa, Oklahoma. And in second place, any reserve intermediate champion female goes to entry number four, TSSC BT Dream On Darling ET, exhibited by Velo Thompson from Troy, Alabama. And in third place in class 20 goes to entry number 75, Josie Bezer from Cayman, Ohio. And in fourth place in class 20 goes to entry number 71, exhibited by Rylan Luster from Belmont, Ohio. And in fifth place goes to entry number 72, exhibited by Josie Fitz Fitzgerald from Eminence, Kentucky. Congratulations to all. Now in the ring when he is class 23, class 24 should be in the makeup ring. In this Herford Heifer side, uh, really nice class again uh, to start out with. Uh, Heifer to start so just just hits me in terms of like the total the totals that she puts together. She's got a little bit more dimension. I love her in terms of center body. She's got some upper rib as well as very good in terms of her underline underneath. Uh, you know, she gets a little short tail to kind of throws her a little bit out of balance at times, but I think she balances up extremely well when you look and study her, clean about her joint, moves out there uh, really well. Just a good. Uh, Good, solid heifer to go ahead and start with. Uh, the, the other heifer coming out here in second, a little wavier haired, uh, but I think when you break her down, or for myself as I do, I think she's really good down her top line. Uh, good in terms of body, I like her in terms of length of hip, squareness to her hip. I think comparatively though, where we come out there, she's just not as refined in terms of just her her head and neck is our class winner and just gives just, just give up a little bit of that quality look from that standpoint. But again, length like her length of body, like her dimension, I like the extra shape she does have. The big heifer, the big heifer uh, he ends up here in third, a little bit extra more growth and frame. Uh, for me, maybe just a little bit big in terms of where she'd just like to see her have more to her, just to be a little softer, open up up high, just a little bit better. Uh, and then just gets layered down in terms of her tail head just ever so slightly. But a skin is still a very good, growthy, good made kind of he female. Young ladies have her very attractive, very smooth made, clean about her joints. I think she's a notch better in terms of outer hip and the way she comes out of her hind leg than the heifer behind her. Uh, but this young lady's heifer, I would like to give you just a little more depth of body to compete a little higher. But again, a very, very nice heifer. I like the maternal look from the side in terms of her shoulder and her rib of the heifer coming out here next. But for me, I'm just not as comfortable in terms of the way she's made out there in her hip. She tapers from her hooks to her pins and, and, and just doesn't handle her hock and hind leg quite attractive enough for me to go ahead and move up any higher. She's extremely well presented. She's beautiful in the front two thirds. 
Uh, just got to change her from, from, from that standpoint. Next heifer coming out. Gives us a good look there where she comes around in terms of angles. I thought she was just a little rough down her top. Didn't handle her spine quite as well from a relaxation standpoint and keeping it down in there. Uh, but she's, she's still very attractive in terms of her rear rib and flank. Uh, just a nice kind of a heifer. Next heifer coming out. Has some body. Has some smoothness. Didn't want to lead a little bit. I'd like to open her up a little bit more in terms of just body capacity, uh, but yet just a good solid heifer. Need to give her a little more length of stride. Next heifer, good cowy, uh, big productive type of a heifer. Just like to give her a little more femininity, a little more look for her to go compete any higher. But again, nice class here in your Herford Show. First call, class 10, Hereford Females. First call, class number 10, Hereford Females to the Makeup Arena. Herford entry number 117, Addison Fiddler. Your class has entered the ring. Once again, entry number 117, Herford Female. Your class has entered the ring. This is your first call, class 27, 28, and 29, Shorthorn plus females. First call, class 27, 28, and 29, Shorthorn plus females to the makeup arena.
Again, we do need that class 24 short horn plus females in the makeup ring. And second call for class 27 be making their way up to the makeup ring. Again, class 24 short horn plus females should be in the makeup arena. Also, class 28 and 29 be making their way up to the Shorthorn Plus ring. Uh, we do need class 27, 28, and 29 be making their way up to the makeup ring. Second call, class 10, Hereford females. Second call, class number 10, Hereford females to the makeup arena. Your class eight results for your open Hereford female show in first place entry number 100, RF8036, Rich Girl 16J, exhibited by Daniel Richardson of Capron, Illinois. In second place, entry number 104, Bofat Hill Lucky 7, exhibited by Harrison Roberts of Williamsburg, Massachusetts. In third place, entry number 97, exhibited by Reed Allen. In fourth place, entry number 101, Josie Harville. In fifth place, entry number 103, Martina Alley. In sixth place, entry number 105, Skylar Murray. In seventh place, entry number 96, Madison Sifford. And in eighth place, entry number 106, Sam Stoughton. Now exhibiting in the Hereford ring is class number nine. Back over here in the plus ring again uh, as we kind of start getting into some of these April females here. And uh, I think we've got three here on the top end that, that, that suit me in terms of type and kind. And, and within that trio, I like the red heifer a great deal just in terms, again, of her angles being correct. She's the best balanced female that we've got out here. She's a big bodied, wide sprung one. Uh, you know, if I could change her, I'd maybe lean her up just ever so slightly, but that's getting picky on an easy class winner for me. The hard pair is two and three. And uh, the young ladies have fair. I'm going to go ahead and hedge into the second hole. Is just a little longer strided, a little looser made female. There's times she wants to camp out just a little bit with this young lady here and, and, and kind of just get almost too relaxed and a little loose there in her, in her top line. But uh, I like that added flexibility and length of stride that she's got. I think she's got plenty of body and rib to go along with it. The young lady's heifer here in third, and when she gets her parked right here, I like a lot of things about her. I think she's stronger in behind her shoulder than the heifer that goes out right in front of her. Really good out of her hip and, and out through her tail head there. She just doesn't maybe utilize uh, her, her front end as athletically as heifers that go one and two, as well as maybe her rear hock. And again, that's getting over critical. I'm not going to call her bad structured, but in this first three females, she's the one that probably just comes up a little short in terms of her length of stride. Young ladies, black heifer coming out here next. I think just a practical, good doing, easy keeping type of female. Just gets a little plainer uh, than heifers that go one, two, and three, but a quality heifer. Uh, the young ladies heifer here in fourth. Again, I like her boldness. I like her shape that she's got. For me, though, again, structurally, she just doesn't maybe utilize those legs uh, the way I'd like to see them and plant them down with as much authority uh, as some of the other cattle. And then our heifer we're going to round out the class with, another one that's really extended up front. She's good in her top line and out of her hip. Uh, but in this lineup, she's the one that just gets a little too frail, not as much presence and balance out here as some of the others. Nice class. Congratulations to them. And results in class number 23 of your short horn plus female show are as followed. First place goes entry number 80, SFF Augusta Pride 127F, exhibited by Tyler Dossie from Terman, Ohio. And second place goes to entry number 83, LWFS Judy's Revelation, exhibited by Mallory Riddle from Franklin, Indiana. And in third place out of that class goes to entry number 82, exhibited by Reagan Easton from Bethany, Illinois. And in fourth place goes to entry number 81, exhibited by Alana Lucy from Glen Easton, West Virginia. And in fifth place in that class goes to entry number 84, exhibited by Charlie Colrin from Rockmart, Georgia. And in sixth place goes to entry number 86, exhibited by Hadley Wilson from Nicholasville, Kentucky. Now entering the ring in your Shorthorn Plus female side is class 24, 
entering the ring now is class 24. We do need class 27, 28, and 29 short horn plus females in the makeup ring. Once again this year, third and final call, class 10, Hereford females, third and final call, class 10, Hereford females to the makeup arena. As we get out here in this uh, set of Hereford heifers, a little more challenging in terms of finding our way to, to, to go there. And the heifer that I kind of tied into at first as she come around here, to, she's got a little bit of, a, of an issue that I would talk about just a little bit. But, uh, you know, one that, uh, to go ahead and start with, and i tell you where she is, uh, still, still solid in terms of numbers when we compare to the top three, but she's so long and extended up in her front end. She's the most correct in terms of angle to her front shoulder back at her knee. And I would, uh, her body's probably okay for me. I would change her just a little bit in terms of her hip structure to level her and square up. I think she's uniform in her body, and I think they just want that you're keeping fresh for one that I think can be a big, uh, big senior year to be very, very competitive. But when that one can give you a really good look, I like those things about her. The heifer that I migrated to to pull out here first is the heifer I end up putting in second, and I love her in terms of her, her just her, her body and her shape and just kind of her overall balance. Uh, for me, as I come back out here and I come down after I pulled her up front, she was wanting to get just a shot forward in terms of her knee, and I just got a little bit concerned as you watch her go. She's wanting to get, uh, get a little too far forward and change that structure in terms of knee to the ground just a little bit. Uh, but I like, uh, you know, just a good quality female. It's got a lot of good to her. The 113 heifer didn't have any data to come out here, and I think that becomes a deciding factor when we get out here of the three cattle left. She, too, is very fresh conditioned, like my class winner, still good in terms of her body, uh, but had the least amount of muscle when we compare her back in that group. I'd like to power up just a little bit from a muscularity standpoint, but she gives us a good, good look, a good angle, and I like her a little more correct in terms of her front end structure than the heifer right there in front of her, a nice female. The heifer comes out here in fourth, a big, stout, heavy one. Uh, I like those things about her, and my question for me, for her, is just in terms of her rear hock. She gets putting her hind foot down just a little bit extra hard in terms of just like to, to clean her joint up just a little bit, uh, pull her back down in terms of just the way she steps and takes off of her proc. There's no doubt about uh, uh, for her maturity and weight per day of age, she, de she definitely excels within the class. Uh, but just from those standpoints, I'd change that heifer just a little bit. Next heifer coming out here, again, good in terms of center body, good in terms of balance. She gets a little shorter in terms of her hip, a little shorter in terms of her front end, but still solid, good basic cattle you can sure like and appreciate. The next heifer, the dark pigmented heifer coming out is stout and powerful in terms of, you know, from a muscularity and rib shape. Uh, she's good in terms of her hind leg, but her issue lays up in her front end. She gets a little jammed up from her neck into her shoulder. Uh, and doesn't just come out of her front end quite nice enough compared to the cattle ahead of her. But boy, you sure like her length of body and some things that she does possess there. A nice female coming out here next in terms of if you like one attractive in terms of her top line like she is. She gets a little up in terms of her tail head. She too is one I'd just change her in terms of her rear hawk, but good in terms of her outline. And then the next heifer here, a little extra white to her. Uh, I like her in terms of length of body and smoothness, but yet I should say uh, length of body and power. She gets a little bit coarser in terms of her head, neck, and shoulder uh, to, compared to ideal. Then the next heifer, very feminine, 
needs just a little more tour to be more competitive. Again, very, very nice class of Hereford females. Back over in our Shorthorn Plus ring, uh, just three here in, in this uh, March class that we've got, and I, I think a good, good pair there on the top end. And for me, uh, when you set these cattle out into motion, the young lady's black heifer just reaches and travels with a little more comfort and ease there at the surface. She feels her track more consistently as she gets out and goes. Within that pair, too, uh, she hits me as a female that's got a little more rear rib and flank in her, uh, just a high-quality heifer to go ahead and lead off. I like the blue roan heifer as well in second, and, and I do think it's close. Uh, again, you know, I've been picking the good structured ones all day, and not that she's not, but I think within this pair, she does come up a little shorter strided, just doesn't maybe get out and reach with as much authority, but this one's bold in her rib cage. She's square out of her hip. She gives you a real nice look up front. Still a quality female there to go in second. The young lady's heifer we're going to round out with, I, I think a long-sided, extended one. I like her look up front. In this particular class, though, she don't have the balance or the presence of the heifers that go first and second. Nice lineup. Congratulations to all of them. And your placings in class 24 on your Shorthorn Plus female show are as follows. First place goes to entry number 91, TSSC, My Girl Pam, 1017J ET, exhibited by Bailey Thompson from Westport, Indiana. Second place goes to entry number 90. MFS TSSC Crystals Limit 2123 ET exhibited by Ryan Wickard from Wilkinson, Indiana. And in third place of that class it goes to entry number 89 HPW Daisy Petals exhibited by Hadley Wilson from Nicholasville, Kentucky. Now entering the ring it will be the selection of your junior champion Shorthorn Plus female. Again in the ring is your champion junior female in a shorthorn plus show we do need class 27 28 and 29 in the makeup ring class 27 28 and 29 in the makeup ring this is your first call on class 11 herford females first call on class 11 herford females to the makeup arena Results of class nine of your Hereford show in first place entry number 111, WF Mirror Image 1300, exhibited by Madeline Norville of Tuttle, Oklahoma. In second place entry number 112, RGR Janet 150J, exhibited by Ella Bain of Tawanda, Illinois. In third place entry number 113, Gentry Close. In fourth place entry number 116, Molly Biggs. In fifth place, entry number 108, John Cox. In sixth place, entry number 114, Matt Mason Collins. In seventh place, entry number 118, Foster Wingler. And in eighth place, entry number 109, Bailey Pearl. Now exhibiting in the Hereford ring is class number 10. Second call, Class 11, Hereford Females. Second call, Class 11, Hereford Females. Nice division lineup out here. Just a pair of classes, but I think uh, quality uh, lies out here with all of them, including their respective seconds over there. And we bring them back out. We'll hit on them just a little bit briefly. The young man's red heifer, I think uh, a lot of presence to this female in the ring, really attractive up front, long and extended about her neck. I think you set her into motion, and, and she's one of the two better structured females that we've got out here just in terms of her athleticism. Uh, really a, a stout end, a stout top, thick ending type of female. You know, she's maybe got a little more shoulder to her uh, than maybe the heifer right in behind her, but you get that added mass and power along with it. So you, you kind of can weigh that out just a little bit out here today. But I would maybe tuck her in just a little bit right there. And like we talked in class, just lean her up just ever so slightly. Uh, but that's a really high-quality, high athletic, big-footed female that you like a lot of things about. The black heifer that come out of that last class, I think a, a good pair there on the top end, like we talked. Again, just from a structural standpoint, this one hit me really hard. 
terms of how flexible and, and loose made she is when she gets out on the go. She's maybe not as extended up through her front end as the red heifer right in front of her, uh, but it's from there back, this one just balances up extremely, extremely well. She's good in her shoulder, really flexible and utilizes her hip and hind leg. So I think it's close out here. We've got that respective second that came out of that class we talked earlier. If I could just see that one just reach a shot better than what she was doing out here today, I think it gets really, really interesting uh, with the three females that we've got in contention, not taking anything away from the young lady over there out of, the, out of that first class. But I think it comes down to these three. I'll show you how I like them. If you would, give these guys a big round of applause. Third and final call, Class 11, Hereford Females. Third and final call, Class 11, Hereford Females. And your junior champion female in your short horn plus show goes to entry number 91, TSSC, My Girl Pam, 1017J, ET, exhibited by Bailey Thompson from Westport, Indiana. Congratulations. And your reserve junior champion female, Shorthorn Plus female, goes to entry number 80, SFF Augusta Pride, 127F, exhibited by Tyler Dossie from Terman, Ohio. Congratulations to both. Now entering the ring, we have Class 27 junior yearling females in your Shorthorn Plus show. We do need Class 28 and 29 in the makeup ring. Again, Class 28 and 29 in the makeup ring. We also need all champion and all reserve division Shorthorn Plus females to the makeup ring. Start making your way up. All division winners and reserve Shorthorn Plus females be making your way up to the makeup ring. Once again, your third and final call, Class 11, Hereford Females to the Makeup Arena, entry number 149, Craig Stahowski to the Makeup Arena immediately. As we get out here in your Hereford show again, boy, what uh, competition just just revved right up here in this class here, and and we've got a pair of high quality ones. Not that they're exactly in terms of their type and kind, but both still very very unique and and a lot of good young ladies. Heifer to start with, just just one I think is just so captivating. She's really well presented. Uh, but she fits together well in terms of just her center body. She's still very attractive in her head and neck. Still got some power that I like to see from, from, from just a shape standpoint, uh, but yet just, just good in terms of her, just her overall balance and kind. Uh, if we'd maybe just square up just a little bit, but boy, I tell you that's uh, still a very, very nice heifer. 
Now, the things I love about this heifer in second is she is so attractive in her head, her neck, her shoulder, so very, very feminine. She's good in terms of her, her natural rib shape. I think she matches in terms of just depth of body and full rib to rear flank kind of look. Uh, but I'd just like to give her just a little bit more upper rib shape, a little more dimension. I think part of that is she's just very fresh in terms of her condition. Uh, and just like to maybe as we get, get out there, she gets a little higher in her pins and doesn't allow her hind leg to maybe take a step quite as long as our class winner. But that's two very, very high quality cattle uh, that I do like extremely well. Young lady, you do a very nice job of show and you get this heifer set up very well all the time. She's really long bodied. She's good in terms of her balance. She's good in terms of her, her, her power traits in terms of muscle and width. Uh, for her body mass, though, maybe just isn't as powerful in terms of at the ground. But for me, I just like to drop her down in terms of her tail head just a little bit. But I like that kind of cattle to a very, very high degree. A little more moderate one coming out here next. And, and I can sure get wound up on a, on a medium-sized one that's built like she is. I think she's very smooth from her shoulder to her full rib. Good in terms of balance and body. Good in terms of her angles. Uh, but maybe just didn't have enough to her to compete with them ones. Uh, them three right there ahead of her for just enough cattle in terms of length of body and extension. Uh, but still good cattle. I like that kind. Young lady here, she's another one of the young, young people do a really good job of showing. Uh, this one's a little greener condition, uh, but she's still like the one that wins that class before this. She's very youthful in terms of her front end. She's fresh. She's built for the long haul in terms of where she's at here shaped today. But for me today, just a little dried out in terms of her rib, uh, but still one that still has some quality. A bigger, stouter one right behind her in terms of just, just body and length and dimension and weight per day of age, but not near as attractive up there in her front end. And, and one, I got to drop her in her center body to balance her up just a little bit better. Next heifer coming out is smooth and good. Just need to take her and uh, she gets a little bit sharper, hocked a little bit more up in terms of her tail head for me, but a good kind of heifer. Big, stout, powerful one coming out here next young lady has. I uh, need a refiner and feminer up just a little bit, but I liked her mass and power with one that's still good in terms of the way she steps off of her hind leg and the way she puts together there. Next heifer coming out, we'd like to re just uh, refine her head and neck just a little bit, give her a little more femininity uh, and change her hind leg, but yet balance and down her top, I think she's very good. Another heifer comes out here that's very good. She's a little bit more moderate and little gives up a little more size, got a little more tail head, but... From a useful standpoint, she's still very useful in terms of body, going to make a heck of a nice cow and do some good things for that young lady. Young man's heifer, I tell you, nothing wrong with her as well. She's a big, growthy, high-performance heifer. She's just a little plainer in terms of her head and neck, but they've got her clipped in for she's really smooth. That's still a nice heifer. You just got in a very tough class. My compliments to you and the rest of these exhibitors in your Herbert Show. First call, class 12, Hereford Females. First call, class 12, Hereford Females to the Main Cup Arena. Results of class 10 in your open Hereford show in first place, entry number 121, BACC 629, Georgia K, exhibited by Catherine Coleman of Modesto, California. In second place, entry number 125, CMH Rosebud 135, exhibited by Cole Murphy of Houstonia, Missouri. In third place, entry number 133, Glennies McGurk from Kingman, Indiana. In fourth place, entry number 130, Garrett and Scott Hickey. In fifth place, entry number 129, Chesney and Maddox Robb. In sixth place, entry number 122, Tana Harville. In seventh place, entry number 124, Evan Jackson. In eighth place, entry number 119, Callaway, Caitlin, and Cora Burns. In ninth place, entry number 123, Bristol and Sydney Cherry. In 10th place, entry number 131, Lexi Terry. And in 11th place, entry number 126, William Sexton. Now exhibiting in the Hereford ring is class number 11. Again, class 28 and 29, shorthorn plus female, should be in the makeup ring. Class 28 and 29, female, should be in the makeup ring. We also need all division champions and reserve champions, shorthorn plus females, be making their way up to the makeup ring.
Second call, class 12, Hereford females. Second call, class 12, Hereford females. Really, really nice class again over here in our plus ring. And uh, we kind of start getting in on here towards the end and, and to evaluate some of these older, bigger females. And, and I'm not going to tell you that these two are similar. Uh, they have some similarities in terms of body and rib and presence out here in the, in the ring. But, uh, again, we've, we've been picking them all day with the ones that were the most collected and the soundest and freest at the ground. The young lady's black heifer just gets out and goes a little better up front. I think she reaches with a longer stride. It's more correct and square as she comes at you and goes away from you. I'm not going to tell you that she's the biggest one out here. Yeah, the one behind her, there's a lot of cow there, and I appreciate that about her. I like big cattle, but they got to be sound to start with, and that's where this female for me just excels the class out here today. The young lady's heifer here in second. Like I said, hon, I like a lot of things about this one. Man, she's bold. She's broody. She's got an impressive hip and hind leg in her. But when she comes at me, she does want to paddle and push out of that front end ever so slightly. It's worse on the left side than it is the right, uh, you know, for whatever reason that may be. But that is a high-quality individual uh, as well, one that I like a great, great deal. The blue roan that's coming out here next in line, man, this one balances up good. She's attractive. She's good structured. Of those first two cattle, though, she is a little more compact. Uh, you know, she's probably more the same size as our class winner, but she's by some margin a little shorter bodied and just shorter coupled all the way through. But there's a lot to like in her. She just had uh, some heat there that goes one and two for me out here today. Young ladies, heifer that's going to come next. Again, another one that's athletic and flexible. I think of these first three or four females, she's the one that's probably a little more refined, a little frailer boned, not quite as much body and rib in her, but still a, a heifer that you like a lot of pieces and parts about her. The blue roan heifer that's coming next, big bodied, easy keeping one, just gets a little too plain out here with the contemporaries she's stacked up against. And then our strawberry roan that we're going to round out the class with, got some foot, got some bone. Again, just a little too plain, a little too coarse all the way through. Really good glass. I like the ones that go first and second. A little different in terms of type and kind, but they're still good cattle. Congratulations to all them. And your results in class 27, Shorthorn Plus females are as follows. First place goes to entry number 92, CF Mona Lisa 136 OPX ET, exhibited by Samantha Vanneries from Bowling Green, Ohio. Second place goes to entry number 94, Aben Blackberry 112J ET, exhibited by Lida Recker of Hopkins, Iowa. And in third place goes to entry number 101, MF's Crew Blue Diva The Rue 2108 ET exhibited by Kyla Henderson of Charlotte, Montana. Fourth place goes to entry number 97, CF Mona Lisa 136 Primo exhibited by Cheyenne Bennett from Winchester, Indiana. And in fifth place goes to entry number 96, exhibited by Alan Annalie Pullman from the Falls, Ohio. And in sixth place goes to entry number 102, exhibited by Kristen West from DeMont, Indiana. Now entering the ring is class 28 in your Shorthorn Plus female show. We do need class 29 in the makeup ring and all division winners and reserve division winners. Please make your way to the makeup ring.
Hi, during this class of, uh, looks like we've got September and a couple August heifers in here. I think, again, a really nice class. Uh, for me, the heifer to go ahead and find their, uh, this young lady's heifer, just one that I migrated to really well and very, very comfortable with, with where she's at to be our class winner. She does some things to a high degree really well. One, you can see as she wrapped those ears around, she's very attractive up in her front end, the way her neck comes up high about her shoulder. Uh, I think she's very proportional when you study her back. She still has some shape and dimension to her ribs. She's not the softest sided one we have out here, uh, but yet she's again balances extremely well when you look at her from the side. But clean about her joints, uh, just I think one just within this class, I think she's the one to, to tie to and excel to go ahead and win the class. The heifer in second, again, is, is kind of a no frills, no holes heifer is how I would probably best describe her. She's really good in terms of her angle. She's good in terms of her center body. And she might have a little more completeness to the side in a positive sense in her class winner. For me, she's just a little flatter in terms of her quarter, where I just don't think she just balances up quite as nicely as what I would like to see in terms of just a little bit more dimension. Uh, and yet, she's not the littlest neck one, but everything fits together really well, like her angles. A very, very nice heifer, just gives up a little bit to, the, to, to our class winner. The heifer in third kind of keeps working her way up, and in one, I think first glance, she's, she's very complete, she's good bodied, she's attractive. I think she does some things there to a high degree. Uh, but as I break her apart a little bit, I'd like to open her up a little bit. She comes at me a little bit closed together from a structure standpoint. And then if you look at in terms of her hip, I'd like to square up, hock to ground, and kind of hooks to pins just a little bit. But a well-presented, nice, high-quality heifer, a little more conventional in terms of the length of body and extension. The dark red heifer coming around the corner, she's big bonded, she's long, she looks to be one that's going to transmit tremendous amounts of growth in terms of where you look at her from a for her offspring, I like that body uh, look she does have, but her for her to move up any higher, we're going to talk about her structure just a little bit. She's a little coarser in terms of her, her hock. She doesn't want, doesn't want to handle herself in terms of stepping down in terms of her rear pasture and to have that flexibility that we'd like to see with those cattle up the line a little bit. But again, body-wise, we sure like her. Big, stout, powerful heifer young man brings out here. He's trying hard to get her showed really well. Uh, she is so stout and powerful. For me, just a nickel masculine in terms of her head and neck. I'd like to refine her up from that standpoint. He gets all out of her from a look standpoint, but I think there from, for me to work her up a little bit just needs to refine just a little bit more. Next heifer coming out around here. Uh, another good, good female, again, gives up a little again on what we talk about as weight per day of age, a little bit shorter body, and one you get right in there behind her, she kind of gets in a little bit in terms of her hock, needs a little bit more muscle, but a good kind of a female. Next young man's heifer, a good, clean made, nice, uh, attractive heifer. I like that about her, like her soundness, just got to power her up. And then we get in a, a set of three heifers that have some good to them, have some shape and, or have some product to them just need to give them a little more feminine a little clean them up just a little bit more back over here in our plus ring just a pair here as we're starting to wind down i think maybe one more single entry class and then we'll get uh get to the end of this thing but uh i think a pair of cattle that that are similar uh you know it was hard to sort them i, I went to the paper and thought maybe that could help me a little bit and they almost read identical across their columns there as well and so come back and sort them and, and I like the young man's red heifer you know she's not perfect but uh, this one's springing up I appreciate that about her she's far along in calf she's bold and big in her body shape and in a rib cage just a female that just hits me as uh, one that's gonna be a real easy keeping cow for this young man on down the road the black heifer's got some things to like as well she's probably a little better in her top line specifically right there in her loin really a long strided female uh, you know for me she maybe does get just a little more tubular in her rib shape and with that extra length of stride she almost gets those hind legs a little too far up underneath her for me and just doesn't maybe have a nice collected look as she gets out on the go compared to the one that we start with but nice pair of cattle congratulations to them Class 29 is now making their way into the ring. We do need all division champions and reserve division champions, Shorthorn Plus females in the makeup ring. Also, we need bred known, uh, Shorthorn Plus females to the makeup ring, bred known and division champion and reserve champion females. Placings for Class 28, Shorthorn Plus females are as follows. First place goes to entry number 103, DR Dream, Dream Lady P, 10 to J, exhibited by Garrick Rishi from Spencer, Ohio. Second place goes to entry number 104, 
LWFS Mona Lisa OP 2101 ET exhibited by Amanda Annett from Ucia, Ohio. Again, now entering the ring is class 29. This is a single entry. Just a it's single entry. The young lady's got for us here in our final class of the day. I think a long strided, attractive female that gives you an impressive look there up front. Uh, like I said, really good in her structural base. Uh, we'll see how she stacks up against uh, the rest of them here in this division lineup in just a second. But congratulations, young lady, on your class winner. Third and final call, class 12, Hereford females. Third and final call, class 12, Hereford females to the makeup arena. Results of class 11 in your Hereford Open show in first place goes to entry number 143, EXR Daydream 1281, exhibited by Vivian Thompson of Troy, Alabama. In second place, entry number 135, KDCC Justifiably 1841J, exhibited by Michaela Mc Helmke of New Philadelphia, Ohio. In third place, entry number 147, Ella Weldon. In fourth place, entry number 134, Marilyn Lewis. In fifth place, entry number 151, Isaac Seidling. In sixth place, entry number 141, Fallon Sullivan. In seventh place, entry number 139, Hardy Edwards. In eighth place, entry number 144, Caitlin Keith. Ninth place, entry number 137, Joanna Blake. And in 10th place, entry number 149, Craig Stahowski. Now exhibiting in the Hereford ring is a selection of your champion senior heifer calf. Again, as we uh, whoop, try to get talking, that young lady is, uh, is cowboy tough on this side, uh, doing a good job of hanging in there, that heifer, uh, giving her a roll. But we'll focus on this end as they bring her down and bring it out here. The short-tailed heifer, uh, one I just loved her in class and just in terms of softness of body. She's moderate in terms of her size, but stout in terms of her structure, but clean in terms of her joints. I liked her her mobility standpoint. And I talked about just a little bit uh, in terms of her shortness of tail kind of throws her a little bit in terms of out of balance, but I still think she she, she gets you know, there from a balance standpoint really well, uh, just a little more moderate as we get her out here comparatively in this group. Uh, the young lady's heifer there in that second class, she gets her up there in, in one that, uh, you know, we had her uh, pulled second and where she wins that class and she still does is where she's exceptional, I think, is in terms of slope to her shoulder, the way she's laid back in her knee her length and extension to her front end. She's built for the long haul. Now, I did talk about, you know, compared to the rest of the group, I would change her uh, in terms of just her hip hip design up high just a little bit. Uh, she could use a little more body, but I think it's real uniform, and I think it's one that's, uh, that's in there for the long haul. But she's probably got as many unique pieces in this lineup uh, as we could look and talk about. The next heifer there uh, uh, coming out here, you know, was in a really good class, a nice pair that I talked really well. She's presented well, but she's one of the ones that just has that, that total combination. She's still high quality in her look, still has some power, has some dimension. Uh, and as we looked, I talked a little bit, changing her hip just a little bit, but one of quality too. Uh, I'm assuming the young lady here with that heifer did not get, uh, did, did not get a stay, but you know, unfortunate for her, but where she was in that class, she won her class really handedly. I did like that heifer, you know, from a look standpoint and presence. Uh, still, compared to this group, probably need to be a little stouter boned and a little bigger body to probably be comparable uh, to be competitive, but still a very nice heifer. Nothing wrong with the heifer that moves right up in, in terms of that spot. You know, as I talked about her, so complete, so sound, good built, very good cow, going to make a good one. She represents this division really well, but... Uh, for me, I think as you come out here, I think there's one heifer that kind of sorts herself to the top pretty handedly for me. Young lady right here in front of me, you're going to be, you'd be my division winner. Congratulations to you. Back over here in the plus ring, uh, in here in, into your last division, I think, again, uh, really a high-quality lineup. For me, though, as we bring them back out, I think just in terms of a pair of cattle that just kind of take it to the next level, 
maybe the more logical decision that I've had to make as far as finding you a champion in reserve in, in any of the divisions so far today. So we won't waste a whole lot of time, uh, but at the, the, with that said, I'm going to keep those two females out of that first class together. If you would, give them a big round of applause. And your senior champion female in your Shorthorn Plus show goes to entry number 92, CF Mona Lisa 136 OPX ET, exhibited by Samantha Vanerys from Bowling Green, Ohio. And your reserve senior champion female goes to entry number 94, ABEN Blackberry 112J ET, exhibited by Lydell Becker from Hopkins, Iowa. Congratulations. We're now selecting your grand champion, Shorthorn Plus female, over in the Shorthorn Plus show. First call, class 13, Hereford females. First call, class 13, Hereford females to the Bank of Arena. Second call, class 13, Hereford Females. Second call, class 13, Hereford Females. Entry number 163 to the Bank Up Arena. Entries competing for your grand champion, Shorthorn Plus Female, are as followed. Out of your first division, entry number eight, exhibited by Carly Goats from Oak Harbor, Ohio. Out of your second division is entry number 19. Exhibited by Emma McCallan from Woodsville, Ohio. Next will be in, uh, entry number 52, exhibited by Houston Furry from Sullivan, Indiana. Next will be entry number 64, exhibited by Piper Cates from Montauk, Indiana. Next will be entry number 74, exhibited by Carter Corrigay from Tulsa, Oklahoma. Next will be entry number 91, exhibited by Bailey Thompson from Westport, Indiana. And last will be entry number 92, exhibited by Samantha Vanneries from Bowling Green, Ohio. As we go through real quick on these uh, three Hereford heifers here in... Uh in our June July is heifer. Uh, the one to go ahead and start with is just just spectacular, very captivating in the front two thirds of her. Uh, her head, neck, and shoulder, the way one ties together, I just don't know if you can make one maybe just a, any more attractive than what she gives you up there in, in that look. And she blends good from her shoulder to her fore rib. She balances up pretty well. She's fresh in terms of her condition for this size. I like her body. Uh, and I think she's good, clean about her joints. She's not as uh, massive in terms of foot size as some other cattle, but that's a high-quality heifer that I could sure tie right, right into as well. The other heifer coming out here in second, she too is very well presented. Uh, she's got a little bit more in terms of lower birth to, to growth spread to her, and yet one that still has some power and mass, which is pretty unique for, 
for being the lightest in terms of, of birth weight EPD and still have, have as much power. She wasn't quite as feminine and, and just as extended uniqueness of the class winner, but still high quality heifer. Heifer in third, same two. Uh, she's got a lot of good to her, and I'm just so impressed as you get here in this breed with a with a boldness and body and cow power that you you folks bring as Hereford breeders, and still make them things to get out to ground and have some flexibility and some get to them. Those are three very very impressive uh, type of females here in that class. Compliments to those exhibitors. First call in class 14, Hereford Females. First call in class 14, Hereford Females to the Makeup Arena. Results of your open Hereford show, your champion senior Hereford calf goes to entry number 121, BACC 629, Georgia K, exhibited by Catherine Coleman of Modesto, California. Your reserve champion senior heifer calf goes to entry number 125, CMH Rosebud 135, exhibited by Cole Murphy of Estonia, Missouri. Well, as we go to wrap things up here in your Shorthorn Plus show, uh, again, uh, my hats are off to all these exhibitors and breeders that help to uh, put these cattle together. Uh, I, I truly mean it, just a tremendous lineup. Uh, it, you know, it was... It was easy to sort for me, you know, I could find the type and kind that I like. And again, it, you know, it all kind of starts at the ground with good structured, good footed ones, uh, ones that'll still make productive cows. It got some rib shape and some look to go along with it. And, and that was the case here today. So, you know, I want to say thanks uh, to the Shorthorn Association and the North American uh, for giving me the opportunity uh, to come out here and evaluate uh, and work with uh, with your youth. Uh, the, definitely the future's bright for your association, Monty Souls and his crew. The the junior board help uh, has been second to none. I, uh, I don't know how many we got out here, but there's a bunch of red coats and uh, they've kept these cattle in line, kept them looking the part for me today and helped some of these kids get to the spots where they needed to be. So let's give them a big round of applause. And, uh, you know, as I said, uh, again, my hat's off to all of them. And, uh, you know, there's, there's lots of people to thank. I'm not going to uh, try to name a bunch of names, but obviously thank my family uh, for helping me uh, to get out here. We've got some cattle back in the barns, and we got a bull that's not uh, too friendly. And uh, they were able to get him wrangled and get him in the barn this morning with the snow and the sleet. So uh, that was maybe some of my biggest concerns, but that, they got that accomplished so, uh, and I knew they would, but uh, as we get back here to the cattle, uh, again, there, I'll be honest with you, there's four or five of them out here that I like a great deal, and I wouldn't argue with a guy if, if he wanted to use them, and I think you can start all the way up here at the front with a young lady's calf out of that first division, just really attractive, youthful, a good way to start off the day, you know, as we come back out here, maybe not enough mass and body to really be in contention, uh, but one that's going to have a nice future. A heifer calf out of that second division, man, this is one that I do like a great deal. Uh, I think just so attractive, so long-bodied and well-balanced. Again, extremely good in terms of her structure. You know, out here again today, maybe not as much mass and power as some of the older females that we've got. Uh, but this one uh, is really, really unique and be interesting to see how she plays out here in the end. The heifer calf out of that third division, uh, I like this one a lot too. Again, I think in terms of her foot and her substance there at the ground, so athletic and collected when she gets out on the go. She's real maternal looking through the center part of her body. Is she maybe as, as tight a throated as the one right in front of her no she's not but I, I'm going to tell you right now that that doesn't bother me at all uh, you know sometimes I think we maybe take a little too much of the neck out of these cattle to to make them be productive in the end and that female's got a real productive look for me out here today so we come on down the line we got some respective ones here in the middle and I think we get down to the, some of these older cattle and the young lady here in the red once again, I think got a heifer that, that you have to like in terms of balance, in terms of structure. She fits the mold. She fits the part out here today. She could use a little more extension up front in terms of just overall length of neck. Uh, but from there back, that one's really, really nice. And then as we get into that final division, I think we had a pair of females there uh, that, that were a little contrasting in terms of type and kind. 
structure again for me is what's sorting them. I'm not going to tell you that this one's the, the biggest one or going to make the biggest cow in the end, uh, but she is really, really good in terms of just how well put together and how well built that she is. So again, my hat's off to you. Again, uh, thank you to the North American and the Shorthorn Association. I'll go out here and get you a pair of champions if you would. Give all these folks a big, big round of applause. Ladies and gentlemen around ringside, could you please join me in giving uh, Zach Butler another big round of applause for coming out and evaluating your Shorthorn Plus show. Third and final call, class 14, Hereford Females. Third and final call, class 14, Hereford Females. This is your second call, class 15. Second call, class 15, Hereford Females. And your grand champion, Shorehorn Plus Female, comes out of class or division three, entry number 52, CF KLS Dream On 221 NLXEX, ex uh, exhibited by Houston Free from Sullivan, Indiana. Congratulations. And your reserve champion, Shorehorn Plus Female, comes out of Division 7, goes to entry number 92, CF Mona Lisa 136, OPX ET, exhibited by Samantha Vanneries from Bowling Green, Ohio. Congratulations to all. Next, we'll be selecting your bread known Shorthorn Plus Female. And that will conclude your Shorthorn Plus female show. We will be moving on to your purebred Shorthorn show shortly. Excuse me, purebred Simital show. Over here on the Hereford side, uh, again, these big heifers. And, man, I tell you what, as Hereford breeders, if you can't get in here and look, and, and like all the cattle in this class, uh, uh, you, you're a little okay. bit more critical to me because I think there's tremendous amount of good up and down this this lineup as you go. The heifer to start with here, young man, I like that heifer a lot. She comes in here, she's easy to migrate to. She looks extremely well balanced when you put her in motion. I like her in her top and out her hip, and yet she's clean in her joints. She's good in terms of her foot. She's very comfortable in terms of the way she sits down at the ground. I think she does some things there to to go ahead and, and be the powerful heifer of the class. Heifer in, in second is gives us that great look when you get her set up. You get her showed all out of her in terms of just her head and neck. She still balances good, but where she gives up to the heifer to go ahead and win the class is, is she doesn't open up right behind her shoulders and carry that extra shape and dimension out there through her hip. Now she's good in terms of her bone and good in terms of her angles, uh, but that upper part of her skeleton, the extra boldness she doesn't have as our class winner, but she's very attractive, well presented, high quality heifer young lady, brings us a very nice one. The next heifer here in third is very upheaded, very attractive, she gives us a great presence uh, from the side, but, but for me, probably uh, as we get out here, I got a refiner in terms of her head and the top side of her neck. She gets a little thicker right there, and I'd just like to let her have her just be a little bit more feminine 
uh, but I like her length of body, her balance, her kind, I think is, is really well. Then we've got a little more moderate one here, young man brings us, and again, I, I kind of get soft spot for the moderate square ones that are really complete, and that's where she is. There's not enough of her in terms of muscle and just power to go ahead and run with a three cattle ahead of her, but she's just good and basic in every, every department. You, one, you can take and breed a lot of different ways. One that can handle herself as you kick her out on grass and make a cow out of her. I think she's just going to be, uh, be, be a very good complete one and does some things there. Now the heifer here in, right behind her, you want to say she's got more power, more dimension. I think from the front two-thirds, she's probably better than the heifer right there ahead of her. But for me, you just look at her in terms of the way she ducks her pins, gets in in terms of her, her rear hawk. When you get behind her and watch her go and the amount of muscle she has, I just, I just comes up a little short for me, in my opinion, uh, for where she's at. But I like her from those, those standpoints really well. The dark pigmented heifer coming out next, bold and dimensional in terms of her rib, square out of her hip. Uh, the big thing to me, she just get all jammed up in terms of her head, neck, and shoulder. Next half are really well presented, a little edgy in terms of structure, gets a little straight off of both ends. But boy, she's beautiful pattern and done a nice job there. Big stout heifer coming out here next. Got a lot of performance, a lot of doability. For the show ring, we just like to clean her lines up a little bit and give her a little more femininity. Begin outstanding, fun class of Herford heifers. Like over in our plus ring, we do got one more uh, lineup here to get through, be your champion and reserves and your bread and own show. And and uh, to me, this uh, it, it really kind of hits home. Uh, uh, back in the day, I, I, I wasn't necessarily hooked on showing cattle or breeding cattle, but uh, we were fortunate enough to one year have uh, uh, do pretty successful in the bread and own show at junior nationals and I guess that was kind of the kick in the rear that I needed uh, to pursue this a little a little more thoroughly uh, and so it means a lot to me and, and it should mean a lot to these young folks as well as we bring these cattle back out here though there's one that I think runs away with it she was in contention to get a piece of the whole thing it's going to be the young lady here in this second hole in the cowboy hat that one's going to be champion and we're going to follow up with our young man right behind her for reserve let's give him a big hand And your brand known Shorthorn Plus champion goes to entry number 19, MS Silky Bow 0422, exhibited by Emma McCallan from Woodsfield, Ohio. Congratulations. And your reserve Shorthorn Plus brand known female goes to entry number 41, Athena's Cash on Dixie 1202, exhibited by Cooper Hedrick from Fairmont, Ohio. Congratulations to both, and congratulations for a successful Shorthorn Plus 